Hello, hello, and welcome back. Control. Uh, so Jenny apparently has an appointment today, so she's out. I have a feeling she'll probably pop into chat later, but looks like it's back to me solo, which means I'm going back to space. I've been wanting to play. This kind of works. I've been really wanting to play Outer Wilds more. We're solving the big mysteries. We're putting all the pieces together. I'm going to blow up the universe. It's going to be a fun time. So why don't we just jump on in? Because I got a lot to fucking explore. Let's get this game going. So let's see. What was I doing last time? Last time, we were trying to get to the black hole warp drive. Blackboard drive, whatever it's called. And I, I think I know how to do it now. I had an epiphany last night. Let me go check my log. Let's go reread some bits of what I was doing. No, not that version. Okay, so quantum moon section done as far as I can tell. I know more rumors can pop out of things, but according to what I have, that part of the thread's done. Ash Twin Project, I need to figure out. Then am I planning to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin? Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. Hey, Paladrune, how's it going? So let's see. Ash Twin, I still need to figure out. What rumors do I have leading to it? Every memory, memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit. Yeah, the statue workshop, we learned about that. High energy lab. Then am I successfully reproduced the temporal anomaly first observed at the White Hole Station. Warped objects appear to arrive before they depart. Then am I discovered they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp cores. Then am I wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to All hail the Hillisee and the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. <laughs> Hi, Chica. Yes, we praise the Hillisee here. <laughs> then I wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as an advanced warp core to handle the energies. Ash Twin was proposed as a location for the project. Cool. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, and then a little rumor that led there. Then am I plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin? Great. Same thing. Okay. So the memories stored on Ash Twin. Like, it's making sense now. Going good, huh? I'm doing good. It's a nice, easy morning. Been. Ugh. Actually, I take that back. I had to fucking update my resume because I had to apply to jobs again because I'm going to run out of money. I've been on a nice, like, God, how many months? Probably been about five, six months off from work. My wife got a job, which she loves, which makes me super happy, and I could bump onto her insurance and everything, so I took a really, really long break. I know! I don't want to go back to the workforce! <laughs> I don't want to! But it's fine. Just get enough, get some money, and then just come back to streaming and stuff. So my schedule here is probably going to change once I get a job secured, but uh, yeah. Rent, rent's expensive. At least over here. Oh, you're over in like, California too. You fucking know. You know as, just as much as I do. What else were we doing? Oh. What did I update here? Oh yeah, we found the... Th oh my god. We went through the fucking anglerfish area, which I'm going to have to go back through. Ugh. I learned after I was done that the game that the arrows themselves at least sometimes have their own notes. Yeah, I didn't realize till I just accidentally hovered over one that you can check the rumor. It's like the connecting idea that led to you finding the next thing. I don't, they don't seem to add too much helpfulness besides just like reminding you. Like most of them are like, like the Ashwin project. I'm just like, great. Uh, what led me to finding it? Oh yeah, it's just like a summary of the previous one. It is nice. It doesn't square feet. 3,000 a month right here sucks. I know. I know. I lived out in San Francisco for like a year. And the only reason I was able to live out there is it was the like first time homeowners that bought a really big house. 
And so they were renting out spare rooms because they were two people and they didn't need like a four bedroom house to themselves. And they didn't know what they were doing. So they're like, yeah, you can have your own bedroom, with your own bathroom for like, I don't know, 1500 a month. And I'm just like, yep, give me. <laughs> I just took it immediately. And after I left, I heard that they doubled it to like fucking three grand just for a room. Which, yeah, not surprised. Now my place is, uh, what, a, what am I doing? We have a three bedroom apartment for like a little over two grand, which is still a good deal, but it's still also shit at the same time. I hate it. Ugh. But anywho, last time we went to Anglerfish Alley, and that place fucking sucked. I hated it, and we're going to have to go back. Wait, I wonder if time is moving while I'm here. Hmm. Oh, I was underestimating. There's an apartment near my work that's... <laughs> 1,500 square feet for 3,600? Oh, God. That sounds correct for fucking California. Or New York, maybe. I'm, just, I'm gonna just move... I don't know, move to the middle of nowhere. My friend wants to move out to Tennessee. I'm like, ew, why Tennessee? He's like, because it's dirt cheap. <laughs> I'm like, you know, you bring up a valid point. But I really like my house. It's nice here. I don't want to move. <laughs> So I'm just going to make money instead. <laughs> oh, God. All right. We're going to have to go back to fucking anglerfish. What else was I doing? Oh, yeah. We need to find the black hole forge. That's that was what I was doing last time before I left. Because you can have some great views, too. That's true. I'm mainly thinking of you for the people, not necessarily the scenery. Um, my good friend that wants to go there, he was raised there. And he told me about a ton of stuff. And he always loops back to Dollywood. I, pr I think is out there. <laughs> yeah. My wife's journey is she wants to go check out every state. We've been to a couple, but we have a many, 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 many to go. I'm on the IE2, if you've ever heard of it. It's not even LA. I IE sounds kind of familiar. I've been down to SoCal a good chunk of time. My wife's from down there, so I used to visit a lot. I don't recognize the letters, though. I bet she would in a heartbeat. Inland Empire, so like Riverside. Sa oh, okay, I I know vaguely. I'm sure <laughs> that's why whenever SoCal comes up, I wish my wife was around because she always gives like an exasperated sigh or like she would give like a just like oh I'm so sorry kind of thing. I'm like uh huh uh huh. I don't get it. I'm a NorCal baby. Okay. Like, I do miss California. It's just the people and the workforce and the cost. I'm just like, no, the people fucked it up. Even though it's, it is, it was really, really nice. <laughs> yeah, the size is justified. Okay. I got it. <laughs> Office party? Yeah, have fun. Thanks for lurking around. You can, can pop in and see how dead I am. Okay. So last time... Oh, I need to... There we go. The last time I was on Brittle Hollow trying to get into the Black Hole Drive. It, don't get anglered. I'm going to try really hard not to. But we know I have to go back there. Let's see. Last time we were learning about the Black Hole Drive is where they make more warp cores. And the, we found the vessel. We found the original ship that they traveled to, which got caught in uh, the Bramble place. Whatever it is. Dark Bramble? And so the concept right now is if we can get a fixed warp core and bring it back to the vessel, I have the trajectory notes for where the eye is. So I think I can power it up, warp the vessel to the eye. I don't know what that's going to accomplish. Probably break the universe, which is fine. But that's my goal. And I think... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh oh, this is fine. Chip's fine. Chip's doing great. There we go. Okay. So let's see. It was in here. I found where the black hole drive is. Not that one. It's over. Maybe it is that one? It's the one with the elevators. Okay. So the black hole drive. There's that thing dangling. And then if I go to these little elevators. Although I walk up, I'm like, are these stairwells? How does gravity affect that concept? Let's see. I gotta retrace my last few steps because I had thoughts. 
Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So... Oh, that's right. I can zoom. So that's a warp core. It looks like it. So this is what... It just came to me last night. I thought this was the underground for the teleport from the white hole station that I appear on. But I think that's a teleport that I can get to. Because I was thinking, I'm just like, where can I, what will teleport me there? What station? I realized the fucking twin planet has warps to like everywhere. So I think there's going to be a black hole station on the twin planet. That's my guess. Because you can't get up there. The, the elevator's broken. Oh, I forgot. I found the secret entrance to get here too. But I think I want to raise that. Because we found out we can raise it, so I have a hunch. Oh, wait, shit. Which floor? I gotta read the sign. School district, malt water district, ice shine district, black hole. Was it this one? Oh! Oh, yeah, this is a little pod. Okay. So we found out we can go in here. And I can raise that thing I don't really know what that does something just tells me I'm going to want to do that because up there looks like gravity pathways so if I teleport in I sh in theory I'm going to be floating up there that's my hope and then I can walk into that thing this is all my guesses if I need to go back to the twin planet I also spent a lot of time looking at my logs, so this may require a second day. <laughs> um, where's my ship? Alright, ship. We're out of here. Going to the twin planet. Oop. I feel like there's a shortcut. I could probably use the white... No, I don't think there's a white hole shortcut. I feel like there's gotta be a shortcut, because that planet is made of teleporters, right? Oh god, I'm hitting memes. Oh god. This is... Fine. Where's a crack in the roof I can go through? I could just go through the black hole. Oh, no. There's an entrance. Okay. We're out of here. I'm going to set a course. Or, oh, I almost ran into a meteor. Okay. Twin planets. Where are they? They're always circling the sun. They must be right behind it. There they are. Ash twin. My twin. Okay, so if we land there, the sand's going down. I just had to figure out which one's gonna be the black hole forge teleport. That's gonna be the tricky part. They're supposed to be shaped like them. I know which one's the sun, but that's about it, though. So... Gotta figure it out. My cat's been a little shit all day, and I locked her out of the room because she's been annoying. And I just heard her playing with the toilet of all things. Cat? Why? So that's the sun one. More up here as I wait. It might just be a waiting game. So let's see. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, pets are a wee bit goofy. The black hole? How do I... There was a place that had the images of them. So I would know which one's the black hole forge and which one is something else. But I don't remember. Let's park my ship here and start exploring. We'll see. This seems like a fine plan. Worst case, I'm going to eliminate it. Process of elimination will be fine. Ship, stay there. Uh, it goes up? Weird. Okay, there's one down there. I, sw I swear I've read this scroll, but I'll take it with me. Okay. Now how do I get down? Oh, sand. Oh no, my ship! Chippy! Be strong! I'm sorry, my friend! Chippy, no! Oh, my baby! Ooh. 
Rip in peace, Chippy. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Okay, here's one. If only they wrote which ones they were. I guess technically I could just stand here till it takes me somewhere and then come back. Because there's two here that are right next to each other. Will one be the white hole and one be the black hole? Let's just write it for a minute and see. This be my favorite playthrough of the game to watch. Aw, I'm so glad. I'm having a blast. Like, this has been a crazy fun adventure. Just like, this game is like, just, it's so beautiful and terrifying at the same time. Hmm, where's this gonna take me? Maybe this one's not functioning? Hmm, there's a white hole over there. <laughs> Quite accurate, yeah. It's like, I just, sometimes you just take in the quietness of space they gave it. And just kind of relax. Oh wait, this is a black hole! Do I want to stand on a white hole? I just realized. I actually don't know which one I want to stand on. Because I thought black hole was in. Huh, okay, let's try the other one. Let me see. This, oh, this one's also a black hole. Can I read this while I'm on it? Cool. If I get zooped somewhere, we know. Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ash Twin Project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator. I became lost on Ember Twin, my gratitude that Raimi found me. But the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I think I found my way in there, but I feel like I have to go back. Maybe I didn't. I imagined uh, our otherwise immensely clever Kanoi would, uh, would lose his own head if it weren't uh, anatomically impossible. So if these are black ones, maybe they're returns? Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. Hmm. I can fly around a bit and find out. Oh. Screw you, Sand. Coming through. Hit! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I can make this. This is fine. So there's the sun. Actually, let me peek at the sun. If the sun one is white, then I need to look for white ones. Hmm. Nope, it's black. Okay. So that's fine. So the other ones just aren't taking me for some reason. Maybe those are busted. Where's my ship? Oh yeah, my ship's on that planet. I forgot. What other... So we have these two towers. Maybe the sand's taken away enough. I can explore more. They all seem to be on this... What I'm gonna call the equator. Um... The one this way? Lots of rocks. Oh, here's one. Don't know where you'll take me, but let's go give it a try. If only I had my ship. <laughs> okay, at least this one has an entrance door that works. Oh. Trees. That's convenient. I wasn't even watching my oxygen. Alright. Oh, a second door. I'll check that after we get zooped away. Oh, I just realized I looked at my little planet map next to me. This is along the equator. So this, it's not the sun one, I know that. The sun is getting a little red. That's fine. Where would this one take me? I don't think I have to do anything to activate them. I didn't for the sun one, I just had to ride it until it aligned properly. It just kind of sucks it doesn't give me, like, a picture. I guess the outside's supposed to be a picture, but they're all kind of vague to me. <laughs> Where will you take me, little porter? Does this go to that planet? No. Brittle Hollow? 
No, but that's where I want to go is Brittle Hollow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. It's my planet. Okay. Okay, noted. The one with all the trees is my planet. Got it. Gonna go through process of elimination. Um, if I keep following the equator, there should be more, I'm guessing. There's this one. Let's see where you take me. Oh, before the sun blows. Oh, there's, hang on, there's stuff below on this one? What's below? Have I been in here? Oh, God, gravity. Wait, are we near the sun or am I hearing the sun blowing up? Ow, gravity. I think we're just near the sun? I'm gonna say we're just near the sun. Oh no, it's the sand, that's what I'm hearing. Here's our first delivery, Yarrow. One warp core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing the core's sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. Ooh, okay, I might be in the right chamber. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin project is underway. I confess, I'm deeply curious about what you and Poke found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Can I visit sometime until I learn more? I recommend sand. Can you chill? Very loud. I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin project. So a visit to the station would uh, doubly be doubly useful. I suppose more precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. <gasps> Girl, stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister and romantic matters her density rivals a neutron star. And go meet her on the, uh, the White Hole Station. I'd be happy to explain our findings. Cute. Okay, is that the sand? It's very loud. Yeah, I think it was just the sand. Okay, so I... Yeah, okay, it was just a shitload of sand around me. So I think this one should send me to the black hole station. Maybe the white hole station. We're getting closer. The sun's also getting closer. But that, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Because if the black hole station has warp drives... Zoop me? Oh no, that's Timber Hearth. That wouldn't have me. Needs to be Brittle Hollow. Because if it has a warp drive I can take, my new plan, get there, get a warp drive, go through the fucking angler fish again, and power up the vessel. Hey, the quantum moon! <laughs> Trees detected. Ooh! <gasps> I'm here! I did it! Look! There's the black hole! Ooh! 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 Okay! This is what I wanted! And I raised that thing. Is there a stepway in? Science. Oh, no, no. Oh, God. I don't want to. I thought I stepped off of a ledge with the gravity. Departure time, arrival time. Uh, it's charged. Ooh, no. Black hole forge, left 30 meters. Hell yeah! Big old tree growing upside down. Scientists taking a nap, just as expected. I need to stay on this path and not jump or else I'm going to fall. <laughs> Ooh, it does have a way in. Is there anything over here real quick? Oh. Hmm. Nothing to put in them. Okay, I gotta keep my eyes peeled. There's probably going to be a little thing to grab somewhere. Um, I guess we walk. It's a convenient way to design your rooms, I guess, when it works, is just make the walls the floor. Okay. Ooh! <gasps> Statue with closed eyes. Wait, is that the fourth one? I thought I'd run it. Oh, no. Closed eyes means it's not taken a memory of someone yet. Because we know of three that were. <laughs> The wall is a floor, which is really the wall. Oh. Oh, that's a confusion I don't need to think about. <laughs> okay, we have a scroll. Got a dead guy. Oh, he's even holding his staff. Hello, statue. Little kiss for you. 
Um, ooh. Okay, that's telling me, the, I'm guessing the black hole station. Read. Where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? Ooh, this is the knowledge I need. All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, Poke, Clary, I'm leaving for, uh, for delivery. I'll send Yaro your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge for, uh, shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yaro receives it. Okay, so I'm probably going to go to Ash Twin to find them. Of course you are. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be a greater pain on your cervical spine. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yaro, he is familiar with them. Ah. Okay. Chip log updated. Ooh. Crystal. Interesting. Oh yeah, I have another scroll to look at. And there's the tile. Take this one out. Pop there. Read this before the sun comes up. Otherwise, I gotta come back. Of note, Yara believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs. Namely, that one of the warp towers on Ashtwin will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Oh, is that the one I was trying? Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? That isn't an unreasonable belief, uh, belief, given the receiver does have to be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. Okay. I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first. No, Yaro understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment be point between them. Oh. Hey, Logan. We got to the Black Hole Forge. So the twins are so close, you can't teleport between them because it's seen as one. So they only take you to one side, if I'm reading that right. Yeah, you're in time. Clary, regarding the warp towers on Nash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's tuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next am I, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next am I, provided the next am I is not poked. Look how sassy they are in these. We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body's center. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. Okay. As such, any Namai stepping into the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation. Okay. Hang on. I'm, I'm trying to piece this. So let me get my thinking. Okay. So what I'm reading here... They don't have to align perfectly. And there's a warper and a receiver, essentially. And if it's on two bodies that are really close, it counts as one, because they have to be at least a good distance apart. I think that's what I'm getting. And then if they're unaligned a chunk, then that means that they that the warp will still remain active for a few seconds. So I'm wondering if there's a, a, a way to find something like that where it breaks. Because it said it will suck in anything into it. Okay. What to do with this info? I don't know. Uh, ooh. Ashton Projection Stone. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Might be a new location I haven't seen. So I'm wondering... Because I have the eyes... I have the eye location... Am I going to be warping myself there, which is my original thought, or am I going to be warping a receiver there and then have to use 
a transporter get there? I don't know. I'm curious. Let's see, where does this project me? Is it all the faces? Yep, these guys again. Oh. That looks different. Was this big pathway there before? That was different. I don't remember seeing a path like that before. Are there different spots for it? Huh. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I need it. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone has worked on the Ashwin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. What? Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Oh god, I need more time. Ignore her, Yaro. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Okay, so they made a core. It's at the twin project. Which might seal my whole plan. So... It, oh, ship. <laughs> That's right, my ship's really far away. I forgot. Yeah, I'm gonna look at this again. So I need to write down the coordinates before I forget. Next time I'm in my ship. I need to find the Ash Twin Project where there is a warp core inside there. Steal it. Go through Anglerfish Alley, unfortunately. Use that to charge up the vessel, plug in the coordinates, and either warp myself or find out I'm going to need to warp something else. That's my working, working concept right now. Yeah, this is different. Why, why does this one have this? Ugh, this is so spooky, by the way. I fucking hate this. It's terrifying. I wish I could send my scout. I know it d wouldn't work that way. It looks like we're inside of a chamber of some kind. If I destroy these, will I not be able to regenerate? Yoink. Okay. Pop that there. Uh, I don't think there is anything else in here. Let me double check. Uh, ooh, is that go? Oh, no, it's just up here. Up. Statue. They built all these memory statues and only one got used by them. And I'm not actually still sure who. Either Solanum, who's just trapped in an infinite loop on the moon. Or I don't know. Because I have one. Garbo has another one. I, I don't know where the last one is, and if I learned it, I just forgot. Okay, is there anything else while I'm up here? Oh, sun music's playing. Begin the sun countdown. Let's check for anything else. Oh, what if I warp? What if I warp when the sun's about to hit me and I try to go to the center of the supernova? What do you think happens? Is there any notes in there? Um, oh, there is something in there. Damn it. Oh, God. Quickly. Exit to surface. Oh. Quickly. The music. Any other notes? Any other notes? Uh, Black Hole Forge. No. Okay. Eep. Oh, hurry, before the sun. Eh. 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 How long did it take me to make the music association? I kept wanting to say something about it, but had no idea if you knew it. Oh, I think I figured it out and just never said anything. I think I may have mentioned it subtly a few times when you weren't around, but I picked it up probably on like the third or fourth sun explosion, I want to say. Okay, we're going to do a test. Ooh, if I can get there in time. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, it's coming. Oh no, my test. I'm not going to be able to do my test. Oh no, it's exploding. This is perfect. Okay, okay, hang on. I want to do a test. As the sun's approaching, I'm going to warp into the center of it and just see what happens. It'll probably just kill me. But I'm really curious. Okay. Okay. Coming. Ready? Ready? Oh god! <laughs> okay, answer solved. 
You fucking blow up. <laughs> There's a puzzle piece that I kept wondering why it was telling me what it said, but only just now clicked. Wow. Oh. That seems to be how this game works sometimes. Like, the amount of times I go back to somewhere and, like, reread something or just, like, realize, I'm like, oh, I didn't, like, fully finish reading a thing probably because the sun got me. I like that. I really like games like this. This and Tunic have been amazing. Okay. Sorry, I had to drink some water. Yep, any game that is exploration and just like you have to put all the pieces together and you get those aha moments. Ah, I love this. It gives me such joy. Wait, there's a pre-fight checklist? <laughs> wait, wait. Was there a pre-fight checklist this whole time I never clicked it? <laughs> Jetpack auto boost? What? Hey god, I never checked these. <laughs> Jetpack boost can be triggered with a separate button press manual or anytime upward thrust. Oh, okay, I actually don't want that. Because that's just the same thing as me jumping and hitting A while I'm flying, right? Oh, these are just settings, it looks like. Freeze time while translating text. Freeze time while reading ship log. Freeze time while talking to others. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. It's funnier when shit blows up. It's also in the options menu. Oh, okay. Which also, which I also didn't learn until after playing everything. Yeah, someone messaged me and they're like, I don't know if you want to do it, but there's an option to pause stuff while text is going. I'm like, no, it's funnier when I'm rushing and blow up. Okay, everything's converging. Okay, let's read our notes. Let's see. Uh, we found the black hole forge. War a warp tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. God, we're getting actual science here. I wanted to turn off the pause sometimes and I kept running back to my ship. <laughs> the warp receiver must be located on or in close uh, orbit around the relevant astral body. The hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin while the six warp tower uh, warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. And my name Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. Okay. Alignment angle diagram. A diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within five degrees of the astral body center. This results in a slightly longer warp windows that, uh, that last roughly several seconds. Anyone stepping into the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. Okay, so that's that matches everything I was learning. Oh, this little one updated. Uh, every mummy recorded by... Oh, wait, <laughs> it's this one. Why do I think it was a little one? In my plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin, every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit with an Ash Twin. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. So, uh, DLC aside, I think we're starting to net it all together. So, okay, this goal is going to be to find the Ash Twin project. Which, I'm a little confused where it's on. Let's see, the Nomai successor were produced temporal anomaly. I discovered they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and Nomai. I wanted to know. Hmm. I think they said it, because somewhere it said it's below the that thing. And I think it's on the non-sand planet? Worst case, I got two planets I can check out. It's either the core... Like, it's at the core of one of the planets. One of the twins. So I know what to work with, regardless. Just don't fly me into the sun. So yeah, let's go find the Ash Twin Project. So in theory, the plan is get the warp core from there. Write the... Uh, the what the coordinates down for the eye 
plug it into the vessel, go through fucking Anglerfish Alley again. Um, either this one or gonna be the other one. Where is the? Ah, there's the little thingy. Oh, gravity. And so it says it's below this. Do I have an easy entrance in? Uh, yes and no. Hmm, I can't remember if there was. What is this also? Very odd material there. Hmm. Land our ship and go look around. Oh. Oh god. Perfect. We've landed. Chip, you stay here. Hmm. Where's this? No, not that one. This one. Camera mode. Alright. That's a bad cave. That's to the Sunless City. We have another way in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want that. Oh, sand. Oh, my ship! No! Chip, you're okay, right? Yeah, ship's good. Alright, so how would I get in? Maybe ship can't go in. Maybe I can. <laughs> okay. That wasn't it. I have a feeling I'm going to have to go down through stuff. Did you ever piece together more of the interloper stuff? Um, yeah, the interloper. I forget if you were around. The interloper, we went into the crack and into the center of it. And we learned that there was something fragile inside i think is what they were saying and if i put it together right i think it was like essentially a condensed form of the ghost matter and it exploded and i think that's what killed most of them it said it would take out the solar system i need to go back and look at my notes but we found the two corpses in there uh i tried to blow it up and then realized it was probably already blown up oh that's right you do have to go the other way in um, no, the store will need to remain closed. There's some time Pioneer running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings on White Hole. We now are running this experiment until one of us is we can prove to inviting in Santa side will disrupt me. Yep, okay. That's what yeah, I was pretty sure. We got in there, so it was it was interesting. It seemed more just like lore explanation. I expected there to be more action there, I guess. More, like, stuff to put together. But it was kind of its own, like, oh, yeah. Here's how they died. Uh, Hydrogen Lab is now being used to design the Ashton Project. If you're here to help or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City Path to the Lab. Of course. Okay. We know where there's the shortcut in. Uh, ooh. Proby. I've been in there? I think that's not the Ashwin project, though, but I know more stuff now, and I want to go back. Yeah, that's my understanding, basically, finding the extinction event. Yeah, because that does explain why, like, I, why the sun isn't the thing that killed them, why they're all dead. It's they exploded ghost matter everywhere. They just contaminated the shit out of everything. Okay, chip. Buckle up. Oh, my ship took off much faster than I expected. So I need to find... Uh, where is it? It's that... It's a tower. It's the... the warp thing the dig. Where are you? Not the sand. There it is. There's a hole over here. That gets me into the city faster. I might not be early enough, though, now that I think about it. Because of the sand. I may need to come back. Hey, Slander. How's it going? Where are them rocks? Over here? I swear it's here. Hmm. I'm doing good. Just doing more space exploration. Oh, it's up there. Secret butthole. Ow. 
We got to the Black Hole Forge, which is really cool. And so we learned that at the Forge, they were making new Black Hole or uh, um, new warp drives. And the warp drives got delivered to the Ash Twin Project. So our new big goal now is to locate the Ash Twin Project, which is either on this planet or the other twin one that they built. And I'm, I can't remember. There was a note that said, but I, I don't remember. So we're going to do a little exploring here. I also want to go back to that one room where it had all the little warp drives. I think was straight now. Um, high energy lab. I want to re-explore the high energy lab. High shrine district, stepping stone district, anglerfish over. Okay. I don't know if I'm too late though. Oh, I'm too late. It's shut. Boo. Alright, because I want to go back in there to check out some stuff that I might have more information on now. Hit! Fine. Okay, we're gonna meditate. Oh, actually, I need to add two deaths to the counter. One of you might, yeah, guys mind doing, uh, adding a death or two to that? Please. Yeah, the log might have what I'm looking for. I need to go look back. Now that I know that the log does pause time, I can take my time with it. I'm excited because once we do this, I'm going to jump into the DLC. I've, I've no, I was told how to avoid it. Oh, oh, why is the cooldown? Death is on cool. I set it for 10 seconds. Why is it set so long? Hold up. Why is it at? Oh, user cooldown. Okay. There, I fixed it so it's, glo it's a global cooldown now. It should work. I didn't realize it had a user and a global cooldown. Log. Okay, so, Ashton Project. Thank you. Um, did you do? Advanced War Corps was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ashwin. So yeah, the Ashwin project is the center. What did we learn at the high energy lab? The Nomai successfully reproduced the temporal warp. The Nomai discovered they could increase. Ash Twin tower design. Designs for each of the towers on Ash Twin's... Oh, okay. So Ash Twin is the sand planet. Ash Twin's equator. Let me double check. Where's my map? They call them the Hourglass Twins, so maybe... Hmm. Yeah, because this is showing Ash Twin Towers. And then I guess the other one is referring to the High Energy Lab. Okay. What else did it say? Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations. Okay. Well, we have to wait for the sand. Either way. But I think I want to go back to the higher energy lab. Now that I understand a few more things. And then while the sand's going down... I think I can escape there. While the sand is going down, we will play around with that. Oop, why can't I... There we go. Don't fly me into the sun, please. Alright. I think that's the only annoying thing about the sand planet is you just have to wait. Like, for once when I, w I don't want more time in the game. I wanted to actually, like, hurry up. <laughs> I guess I could go to Rybar, Ryback, Ryback, whatever his name is. You know what? I think I tried before. There's nothing to fly into the center, right? Like, there's nothing in a core, secretly. It's a, a wad of brain sand. I don't see nothing. No secrets hiding in there, right? Right. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. 
Yeah, that's your only complaint. Yeah, I thought... Oh. <laughs> well, I thought that was a quantum moon. <laughs> I thought it just showed up. Like, I, what bugged me is um, Ryback's camp. You can sleep in his thing to speed up time, but there wasn't a bag here at the other camp that I could go to. Like, I assumed it would be all of them, so I could do it on any planet for that exact reason, but... Oh, well. If that's my only complaint, then... Add... Into the hole. Into the hole. Okay, we're gonna go down to the energy lab, mess around with that for a little. Ow. You can sleep at the- Oh, you can sleep at the starting camp! Okay. Thank you. That's that actually kind of weighs out my complaint there. It's sitting at the campfire sk and skip until the next cycle or just pass time quickly. I don't know, but Ryback's camp, you could actually like go to sleep and it showed the time speeding up, which only looked like double speed, which I'll still take it, I guess. But if the starting camp can do it, that's Good enough. I'll do it until the sand planet looks like somewhat done. Hi, energy lab. Swoop. In we go. In we go. Are these are quantum cactuses. Because that was rough to learn last time. Get it? Because cactuses. Okay, I want to follow this. I can't believe before I didn't realize that a bunch of the stuff down here is like all quantum and moving. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait for this one anyways. Right, Scout? Yep, 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 yep. Just passed quickly. Two times on consoles, I think up to five times on PC. Oh! Come on, Sand. You can do it. Here I am rushing and waiting again. <laughs> it's different because it's that actually still running the planetary simulations. Oh, that would make some sense. Come on, sand. Come on, sand. You can do a probe? No. Or probey. Mm -hmm. Those aren't quantum ones, right? I'm very curious why there are some quantum cactus cactuses. And why there aren't. Or I'm crazy! Which could definitely be the answer. I do like when it's quiet, which usually I'm not. You can hear him breathing in the mask. Like, the sounds aren't huge except for the sun and stuff but all the subtle little sounds don't kick in until I kind of shut up and they're really good oh actually a little light nice. all right come on a bit more mm -hmm. all that rushing and I better not get squished on the other side that's all I gotta say Still can't. Come on. Come on. Almost there. We're almost there. Almost through. I can take a little poke, right? Yeah. Worth it. Okay, is this where the quantum ones were that confused me last time? Oh, yeah. Gotta go around. I guess I'll just hop these ones. Ow! Okay, following. Uh, through there. Because I think there was, like, quantum stalactite, too. Unless, again, I'm just crazy. Which I accept as an answer. <laughs> Hi, Clarin. <laughs> Thanks for bringing a duck with you. Okay. Uh, that... I think that's dangerous? Mmm, semi-dangerous. Did I want to go this way? I can't recall. <laughs> I'm not? Oh, good. I 
think that one might take me to the surface. I think this is the way I wanted to go, right? Yeah, I want to get to that. Okay. This is the one I had to parkour before. Hit! Boom. We're in. Just here for a quick minute. I have to head out again to take my dog to the vet. Oh, I hope your baby's okay. It was just checkup. Okay. We are back to the high energy lab. I have a bit more knowledge this time. So maybe... I can pull something out of here. Or... I'll just leave and <laughs> go fly to the other, uh, the other twin. He's got like a thing in his eye. Aw, poor baby. Well, I hope he gets fixed up easy. Records show Namai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the Whitehall station. Raymi and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simple machine error. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Initial thing is, uh, things first, our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup of the white hole station. Hypothesis. Th it, is, it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. So that's what this little test over here is. So they have all these little white, these little warp cores. This isn't the core I need. These aren't what I need for the, the vessel, right? They're not shaped the same and they're not in the location it said. Oh, what if I'm gonna have to take it and come grab these? What if there's a huge chain of events I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna think about that later. Black hole. White hole. Like, I have a feeling I'll get one step closer at a time and slowly realize how to, like, make it all work. Scout. Blech. Scout. Keep. Right now it looks normal because they're so close. I think it was when you powered this up. There's the, the ball. Yeah. Really? This is converting the power there? What's it taking the power away from? Oh, this is the big window where I came in. That's right, they said they had to take power from the city to do it. So it's taking it away, so the city should be dark now. Oh, shit, this is useful. Okay. Uh, that's the twin ones, which makes sense why it doesn't work now, because they said it's too close. Uh, that's the sun. That's timber hearth. That's the black hole? What is that one? I don't remember that one. It's a tornado. It's shaped like a tornado, so I think that's the the deep place. The the tornado place. This knowledge can lead to a fun little Easter egg later. If you miss it, I would love to tell you about it after you finish. Yo, oh, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, once I finish, like properly finish an ending of the game. Or I guess not an ending. The ending. Um, I want to know shit. Oh, there's my way out. Perfect. Okay, cool. So I don't have to back. Like, I'm, like, I have a bunch of theories, but I haven't solved everything to confer what I'm thinking yet. The Southern Observation Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute time interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of the time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate, almost as if you need a fucking supernova to reach it. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are cu uh, currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Maybe blowing up the sun will do it. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas pie. My pun was unintended, Raimi. So I believe it's you who who's aeriform. <laughs> oh, it's me and Claren talking. <laughs> Remy, I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy. A thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely be uh, need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. Well, well, well. Guess where we're gonna head to? 
pop you over there. I know I read these, but these make a lot more sense now. Like, rereading notes as I go is actually, like, giving me better insight. The Ashwin Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel be quickly between Ashwin and each location that cur uh, holds crucial project materials. <gasps> That's making more sense now. How they had to build a warp station that they could transport uh, port to to get like the warp core there and the um, the cannon that they were building to find the eye on the tornado planet that I'm always blanking on the name of. Um, Brittle Hollow had all the had all the other research stuff. The sun had the sun station to grab the power. Like, it makes sense. It all circles around this. What if we use warp towers, like the one we have on the White Hole station, to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge, but this will keep us busy. Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those making my impressive, uh, my <laughs> noted my imprecise, uh, Jesus, imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has uh, been sufficiently clarified. Finally, stop reminding me. We could design each tower to vi uh, visually reflect its warp destination. The Giant's Deep Tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we could deep Giant's Deep. That was it. And we could model the Timberhearth Tower after a geyser mountain. Okay, that's what it's supposed to look like. The geyser. Uh, factory. Or the forge. Uh, the cyclone. The twins. In the sun. Okay. Hopefully not. Well, let's see. If I bring my little guy back, now that there's extra power... Aha! Hey, Tham! How's it going? So if it goes in, you see it come back early science and we learned what happens if i try to replicate my little guy it's not a great thing it's also kind of a great thing <laughs> how you doing fam okay maybe enough sand has gone by we can go to ash twin now but i'm gonna refer to this planet as the high energy lab and the other one is ash twin because that seems to be the way they're doing it Where's my ship? Yep. Oh, of course my ship's on the other side of the planet. That's fine. And I just be like Thor and summon it like my hammer. They actually have a name for this planet? I bet they do, and I just haven't picked it up. <laughs> Not so bad. How's Ash? Doing good. I was saying earlier, my morning was kind of boring. I had to update a resume and apply to jobs and just blech. Almost like I need money to pay rent. It's gross. I hate it. Ember Twin. Thank you. Yeah, that's. I was, I was positive I've read it somewhere and it just didn't lodge in my brain properly. Because I think I was... In my head, they were referring to both of them constantly as twins, so I didn't pick up the subtle difference of one twin and other twin. My twin and the flaming twin, which is me. Oh, I remember twin. I solved it. Okay. Two sand plane. Hopefully enough sand is gone. Where is it? Collectively, the hourglass twins. It's all making sense. Where are you at? There. Ooh, that's nice and, uh. Yeah, that's. That is nice and stripped of sand. So, if I recall, it was saying it's below. It's down below. Yeah. These towers, I think? My concern is how long am I gonna have to wait before I can find an entrance? A little platform here. No entrance. I know there's an up that takes me to the top of them. Hmm. I'm gonna fly around looking. Maybe one goes down and one goes up. Because I've had it where like a lot of the sand was removed, and one of the towers had a little. What are they? The little blue spoot shoots or something. Those things. 
then go all the way to the top. Um, worst case, I'll have to check my log out and see. I swear it was in one of the notes that I read. And for now, we're just going to keep watching until, like, as the sand goes down. Hmm. Unless there's something where I can reverse. Because on Brittle Hollow, there was a way to reverse the elevators. The little spoot shoots. I really shouldn't call them that. But whatever. See, Claren, this is what I was talking about. I don't bring filters in the stream, and this is what happens. Mm, looking for secrets, crashing into rocks. As the sand goes, more is revealed. This is, like, I don't dislike this planet. It is very interesting, but this is my least favorite. Only because I had to be patient. I want to be patient. I want to zip there as fast as I can and figure it out. And I have to figure it out before the sun blows up. Otherwise, there's something I'm missing. You can see that little tower goes up. Well, let's go into it. Let's go look around we, since we got a little bit of time. The sun doesn't agree, but you know, whatever. Yeah, because this goes... See, it goes way, way down. There's got to be a way to... Flip it? Or... Or bop it. Spin it. One of those. Let's go check the other tower. Maybe the other tower has, like, two directions inside? And I'm just not checking close enough? Hmm. <laughs> you were going to say or bop it? Same brains. We all share the brain cell here. So if I crash into the sun, it's not completely my fault. It's our fault. Okay, let's check the other one. How could I reverse? Wonder if there's a control panel somewhere that would let me reverse them. And I just haven't become aware of it. Oh, bumping. <laughs> Jesus, Pixie's yelling at my door. See, this one's also going up. Let me ride it. Let's see. Because what worries me is I'm going to have to wait for enough sand to go by that... How am I going to get in there fast enough? There's got to be a fast way in somehow. Like, that's my... Like, thinking about it. So, there's got to be a fast way in... By either reversing the pull of these so it can take me down. Because I have to be able to get the warp core to take it back to the vessel. So there's got to be a way to do it quickly. There has to be somewhere for a control that reverses those. But where would it be? Hmm. Where would it be? We'll wait out the sun and keep exploring this just in case. Like, really, like, double check that nothing shows up. But yeah, there's gotta be a place I can control them. Hmm. I'm, like, trying to think each planet now. I'm gonna have to probably go through my log with that concept. Because then once I can figure out Gonna have to be go somewhere, reverse the pull on these, get inside, potentially find the warp core, go back through fucking fish alleyway again. If you look down from the base of one of the chutes, uh, are you talking about these? I thought I did. Oh, actually, no. There's one that I have yet to go to. So this is the twin one that was. Busted. This is the Timber Hearth one. Oh, you're, oh, you're talking about the... Um, oh, about these. It looked like it did. 
Like it, whoop, shit, overshot. They look like they go all the way down. Ooh, hey, that's a door on the bottom here? Oh, but that just goes up into that one. I don't think I need it. Uh-oh. Sand. Anakin's nightmare. Yeah, here, let me, oh. <gasps> I can wait. Hey, hold on, hold. Not just looking. Let me shoot a. Let me shoot my little guy down there. I always forget to do that. I gotta hurry though. That sun's looking at very angry. What? Yeah, because I've peeked in and like, look, that goes way down. But I have not tried. Oh, the gravity. <laughs> of course. You tried. You tried, Scout. It's okay. Like, it looks like they go way down. That's why I'm going with that theory so far. My current concept is that I have to figure out how to reverse those so it pulls me in. I'm gonna check out my log. We oh, A door! A door! There's doors! Yeah, maybe there's knowledge in there on how to flip it that I can find really quick. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. Damn, it just goes to the base. Well, shit. Okay. Hmm. Don't have long. Might as well check the other one really quick. Ow, my ankles. Uh oh, that's the sun music. That's bad. Okay, well, that changes that plan. I'm gonna have to go back through my, my log notes. Hurry, to the other one. I have to double check for science. Checking for science. Quick maneuvers. But, ship, there's no time. Land, land yourself, ship. Ship, not on me. I just want to look. I just want to look. Oh man. Nope, oh, come back, Pod. Let me light this up. Damn it. Chip's fine. Chip landed itself. Don't worry. Okay, that changes that plan. I'm glad I waited until all the sand was gone at least. Where would controls be? That's the next question. Or not controls. Where would ow be a pathway in? Oh, I hear the sun. But I don't see the sun. Oh, I see the sun. Oh no, take me, hurry, it's not too late. Take me, take me to the planet. <laughs> We can evade the sun. It'll never catch me here. You have no power over me, sun. I'll evade you forever. No, we'll go back. We'll go back. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, that rooted out my plan. Now I have to figure out how to get inside of it. Hmm. I gotta go back through the notes. I mean, those are a line at the moment. Look, it's called gamer skills. Definitely not just luck. <laughs> so how would I get in to Ash Twin? Let's go back through our notes. Let me see. Check out the log. Like, ah, uh, it's the last thing I need before like more of this opens up. So, in my plan to construct technology capable of producing a 20 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. Okay, so maybe it's not a core like I was thinking. Every memory recorded by a my statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber 
of Ash Twin. Hmm. Ants warp core in the central chamber. The only thing I can think is there's the double towers that look like the twin planets on there. Because those wouldn't those wouldn't go anywhere. Maybe I can get a little more info from that. Then let's backtrack through these. The device successfully reproduced the temporal anomaly first observed at the white hole station. The mine discovered they could increase uh, negative time interval. Included it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as the advanced warp core to handle these energies. Ash Twin was proposed as a location for the project. Hmm. <laughs> From on to within to central chamber. Yeah, it's great. It's like tunic. Do I land on the surface and do I go up, down, uh, up? <laughs> yeah, I saw the Ash Twin designs. The only one that is confusing is the twin towers oh god that's a horrible name for me to give it each tower warps to a different planet although many of my were quick to know that the sun is not actually a planet each tower was a dying visually effect so maybe that's where i need to go maybe i need to go play with those a little more ours allowed the nomai to quickly travel between ash twin and all other locations because so the planet itself is ash twin so it's going to be about yeah, going on Ashwin, going within it somehow, and then to this. And the installation was the central chamber. Hmm. Ashwin Towers, several large my towers form a ring around Ashwin's equator. The White Hole Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ashwin project. Warp tower alignment point is not its warp receiver, rather a warp tower al always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. The warp receiver must be located on or in a da -da -da, the name of the... Hmm... Alright. Let's head back to Ashwin. Maybe I can figure it out. Because it's gotta be early. If I'm going to be doing a new day with a really long run through Anglerfish Alley and all that shit. In theory... Oh, hey, Quantum Moon. In theory, I shouldn't have any reason to wait for half a day to go by because I'm going to need time. Quantum Moon tempts me. I do want to go back and do some experiments on the Quantum Moon at some point. But not now. We gotta go to Sand Planet. Anakin's favorite place. He loves sand. Okay, because those little tips show up first. But they just have ups. Although this starts with a down, I'm crazy. But we also saw, they're just towers to get you up top here. And then I think the first one that shows up is the sun. Which would take me to the sun, the things orbiting the sun. But I don't know what I would do from there. I don't remember seeing anything that might have to do with Ashwin for that. And I'm also wondering, because this thing is all about portals, I'm wondering if there is a portal out there in the universe somewhere that would take me inside here. Because that's like the reverse of how I found the black hole station, is I had to come on here, use a black hole teleporter to get there. So do I, is it like portals? Do I need to be thinking with portals? Show yourself, tower. No, not you. Show yourself, other tower. Hmm. Oh, forever to show up. You know, I keep seeing on my left side it says master alarm. I haven't touched that. I'm very curious what happens if I touch that. Is it a button, or is it just telling me when I'm super damaged? Yeah, we got a second. I'm gonna land. Touch the button. Because I know on the other side there's an eject button. Master alarm. No. But over here is <laughs> raise eject cover. Are there any other ones? 
since I'm just waiting for the sand for a minute. Any other things I haven't clicked? Oh, is this why I can breathe? I brought little plants. Oh, wait. Oh, they cross it weird. That's four. Four, five, three. Weird. I've been playing too much tuning. In my head, I'm just like, four, five, three. Write it down. It's going to be the code to something. It's going to give me a path. It's going to tell me a direction. I have to take the shape of the four, which points up. The five points to the left. <laughs> like, it, my brain's stuck in those. Okay, this... I think these are the twin ones appearing. I've been going, like, whenever I'm working on my projects and I'm just, like, just need something on in the background, I've been looking up other streamers that are playing through Tunic for the first time. So I get why it was very entertaining to watch a new person do it. It's so entertaining. Which hopefully this game is doing the same purpose for me. Um, star. Sun. Hey, Quantum Moon, welcome back. I don't need you right now. Okay, so we have that's an up. Then we have the scrolls. One of the few ways to kind of relive that feeling of discovery. Yeah, the best way, especially when, because when it's super open world and people can do it in any fucking direction, it's really fun. Man, it sucks that I have to wait for all this sand still. I thought it was going to be quicker. Let me in. Unless there's another warp up there that I'm unaware of. No, because on Ashwin they can't they can't go to each other, right? Hmm. All right, I'm going to call that good enough. Let's go start investigating. That it's either going to be another teleport there that'll take me to the Ash Twin project that I overlooked. It's very much a possibility. Or there's an entrance here that I'm just not picking up. This one's broke. So that's the other thing is there's towers for each planet, but this looks like the twins. Which shouldn't be able to teleport to each other, if I'm understanding. The f like, this still feels too long to have to wait, also, for all this sand. To get a warp drive, then also go to fucking Angler Planet and figure all that out. But I might as well do kind of the same. Wait out the sand, see, look for clues, figure it out. <clears throat> or I guess I could go explore. Not you, you're Brittle Hollow. I could explore Ember Twin too. Because hmm. if I explore Ember Twin, I could find out there's a portal here. Here. You'd think it would be with the high energy lab, but I didn't see it. Where would it be? It could be anywhere. It could be on another planet. Oh, cacti. Okay. So there's these. See, they, they have warps on them. And I stood on them earlier, and I didn't take me anywhere. Like, maybe when the sand comes up, it'll take me somewhere. Oh, well, the sand's coming. There's the planet. Maybe it'll take me up there. Let's try. I might need the other one, though. I might be on the wrong side. Hello, sand. 
Oh, shit! Oh, oh! Shit! Okay, so it can. It definitely can take me to this planet. That's good to know. Okay, what's the other one do? Um... Huh. Now I'm gonna have to look for one here that would take me back, but inside. Okay, but now I'm really curious. There was a... There's the other tower. When the sand comes back, I want to stand at that tower. Just to see what happens. Because it's also... Oh, he's sleeping. Because it's also a black one. So that would put me in a different location, potentially? Or the same spot. Okay, that's our next, our next little hypothesis to solve. Where does that tower, the one without the reading wall, take us? <clears throat> now what does this say? Friends visiting from the Hanging City. We are planning the Ash Twin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twins- Wait. We are planning the Ash Twin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twins Equator. Well, shit. Maybe that is what the other one is going to do. Is take me there. It's on Ember Twins Equator. Okay. I became lost on Ember Twin. My gratitude that Raimi found me. But the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. As in designing it. We are... Oh, planning the Ash Twin pro Okay, okay. Yeah, because that, that kind of contradicted everything else that was contradicting my previous thoughts. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Kanoi would lose his head if we weren't <laughs> more anatomically impossible. Okay, we're going to wait for the sand. As exciting as that is. And see if we get zip up to a different location. Then the other concept's going to be where on Ember Twin. No, that's the sun. Where on Ember Twin could I find a portal that would take me back in here? And if it's not an Ember Twin, where is it? Maybe the high energy lab? Maybe if I mess. Hmm. I'm just gonna stand here while I think. Maybe. Oh god, why is my magnifying glass going? And maybe if I go to the high energy lab, one of those little warp cores, if I take a white one and put it somewhere, can I swap them out somewhere? Hmm. Let's see what this does. Will it take me to a different location? Oh, the sand is taking me! Oh, the sand is... No, this is not what I wanted! No! My plans! I didn't think about the sand! Alright, well I guess I'm exploring here now. This is fine. That explains the broken one. It, it, I, it did take me to a different location. It's very true. Where? You know, I haven't talked to What's-His-Face on this planet since the first time. Maybe I can go find him. Maybe he will give me some clues. Where's his little camp thing? Hmm. Yeah, because there's this warp cores in the high energy lab. That maybe I can use one of those? Maybe one of those is the opposite end of the project? Hmm. He's over there. He's camping up there. Yeah, hey, bud. Blech, don't mind me. Hey, chart. Oh, it's you. It takes. Uh, I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. Yeah. Thanks. Um, okay, I found something. What do we got? I found Namai writing on the sun stage, and I found Namai transmission saying the universe is dying. I found your notes about the outer lock main crater. Um, what else? 
Why are so many stars going out? What are you doing out here? Where should I explore? How dangerous is a big column of falling sand? Where should I explore? You, to be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with the little scouts, so I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck uh, site on Ember Twin's southern hemisphere? The one shooting a bright beam out of, uh, of light into the sky? It's not one of our uh, our own crashes, surprisingly enough. This one's on a Mai ship. You'll find an find a Mai ruins across the twins, but strangely, not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I'd have seen it with my little scout. Definitely the one that goes across the surface. <laughs> Where do they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Ember Twin is full of cavern uh, of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. Ugh, yeah. I found something... How about the sun station? Is that what's in orbit around the sun then, do you think? This sun station? Quite clever than am I to devise a way to study the sun up close and personal. It must have been tremendously difficult to construct. And hot inside. I can only imagine. I wonder how... Uh, how I wonder how were they able to travel back and forth from the sun station and the hourglass twins when the slightest slip up would have meant a fiery death. Uh... You just don't slip. Easy. Hmm. Okay. Got be something I'm missing. My ship is not with me, so I'm kind of on my own. Not with a lot of fuel. Oh, I could have taken this fuel. This is fine. What cave did I go in? Spooky cave. Oh, the rock cave. Whee! This was such a cool puzzle to learn. That if I'm in here, I can just... Boop! Boop! New location! Like, that was so cool. The, the quantum moon solving was probably my favorite part of this game so far. Like, it was... It just was mind-blowing how cool the puzzles were. Oh, now I'm outside. So it's set along the equator. Uh, uh oh, wait. I think this crush. <laughs> Run. We're running. Run from the sand. Okay, because the sand circles the equator. But it was. Was it Ash Twins Equator? Or Ember Twins Equator? Uh oh. Hmm. Quantum Moon's the best. I loved all those puzzles. I must have missed the quantum puzzles. Oh, yeah, I think that was, um... You caught me at the end of the moon. Hmm. I wonder if I have enough fuel to fly back to my ship if I tried. Is this big... Where the sand is going is the equator of this planet. I'm also very curious how they got the sand up there, or why it's there. Like, what's the story of the sand? Oh. Ooh, maybe I do have enough. Hold on. Oh, my ankles! Alright, we're gonna try something spicy. What's adventure without a little spice? Hi, son. We see the planet. We're gonna boost ourselves into it. Hey, Jenny! Yeah! More! More? More! More! That's not working! My bones! I'm fine! I'm fine! This is all fine. Maybe I'll just call Garbo. Okay. More lore. Yeah. Okay, running out of fuel. Oh. Fuel level's critical. That's fine. Now. So. We've been in there. Just 
gotta be some some part of the puzzle I'm not putting together on how to get the ash twin project. Hmm. We need to find a core. That has a bunch of cores inside there. I guess next. Okay. Let's go meditate. Or break our legs. A hero's way out. Perfect. Garbo can't get me if I already got myself. thinking now. So... Yeah, there's a bunch of those cores. Ooh, I haven't... <gasps> okay. I know how... <laughs> I need to die nine more times. <gasps> You're right. Don't worry, it'll happen. Especially when we go back to the fucking anglerfish. I gotta make that, that ninth one, though. I gotta make it... A doozy. Okay, let's. I want to check one thing, and this one I don't have to wait for the sand. I can test if one of those warp cores in the high energy lab might go to the Ash Twin project. Because I can I can plug them into the machine, and if one of them doesn't show up. No, wait, that wouldn't work. What did it? Shit. Either way, going back to the high energy lab for a minute. You gotta check stuff. The current hunch is there's a way to get into Ash Twin from Ember Twin. But I'm not positive. We're gonna go do some testing. My buddy's ship. And a beautiful landing. Smooth as butter. Oh no. I have a sneeze coming. Oh god. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, through the secret hole. Past the death rocks. And the cacti. Uh. Ow! Excuse me. Slow down. Alright. All the power is currently going to the city. City, I do have a little time. There's the eye shine district. I think that was just like the residential zone. Oh no, that's where I just came from. Okay, let's go down before we can. Whee! Boom. High energy lab. Because right now, it's about getting to the Ash Twin in this, the central column in Ash Twin. I believe is our current goal from my notes. Hmm. Like, I'm trying to think also, where could I... Oh, yeah, I have to wait. Oh, man, I'm going to have to wait a while. Lame. Scout, give me company. Because I'm trying to think... Where else could I go maybe reread some notes about the Ash Twin project? Maybe get some clues on like sometimes it's just one of those like little one-off liners where it's just like, oh yeah, Corey loves going through this portal over here to the Ash Twin project, and you just go off of that. 
but I'm not sure. Now I have to wait for sand. Looks like he has a little switch controller in his hand. Keep Here, Scout. Go explore. Go play. Go play, buddy. Actually, what do you Is there more cave for me? Mm. Oh, there's a bunch of cracks up top. Any more stuff up here I want to see? I am wasting my time for the sand, but this has my curiosity now. Stairs? Oh, are these... Oh, this is the jumping platforms. Okay, so I have a secondary way in now if I ever need my suit! Okay, so if that bottom door gets shut, there's another way in, but it's probably too late at that point. Come on, sand! You can do it! Oh god! <laughs> I almost jumped right back into the cactuses. Scout, be brave. <laughs> Scout, be brave! A brave little boy. Drowning in sand. Look at nice sand PNGs. Let me in. I have to go get answered questions. Three minutes of oxygen remaining? Bullshit. It's like I stepped on a cactus. Just covered up enough. You done? No. Fuck off. I'm gonna run out of oxygen. <laughs> My hubris. These. Ow. And roof cacti. And I think I can go around this way. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh. So I'm curious of a couple more things here. Let's see if there's any paths I may have missed. No, it just looks like one. There's th oh, that's a down. I thought that was an up for some reason. <coughs> okay, so this is a little pathway through, and it's got little slits, so I can't come back this way. This room, I believe, is just the way up and nothing more. Looks like it. Yeah? I'll say yes. Oh, my oxygen. I know. I may have goofed. This might be a <gasps> tree! Beautiful tree. Okay, we're back here. Because this was where they were make performing the Ashton project. So you'd think they'd make a warp to it, right? Or is that just me being hopeful? Oh, that's the sand. I was like, what the fuck is that? Maybe if I sit in that nest like a little baby, it'll carry me. Yeah, because I've done... The only one I technically haven't ridden... No, I did ride that one. Never mind. I've ridden all of these. Except for the one that sucked me up. Really? Now that I'm looking at it, maybe I need just to name it better? Because look at the picture. So that one looks like an equator. And that one looks like... Well, not. <gasps> and if it's slightly off... It did say it's going to stay on for like up to seven seconds. Okay, I might have to go back there. I might have to test my original theory just to see what happens. 
Uh, let's open this door first. People. You. Take me. Maybe? Do these align? Maybe this will take me. It's pretty. I don't think this is it, but now I'm kind of curious. Just go. Go play. Hmm. Where's the sand? Okay, there's... Well, there's the planet. I don't think this is a warp, but I'm kind of curious. I gotta test everything while I can. No, okay. Want to check that? Then we can go... So another thing we're given... Are these. I have some blank warp cores. Oh, maybe these can go in the busted one. Oh, they kind of look like it. And then we have some white and some black ones. So what if, what, scope, scope, chill. <laughs> My scope keeps coming out. We have these blank ones, so the black one is an in. Scope, will you? Scope, quit it. I don't know why my scope keeps coming out. Get back here. Thank you. I don't get what the blank ones are for. That confuses me. What about blanks and white? Maybe this. Hmm. Because I'm wondering if these were just for their testing purposes, so this is all just for fun. Or if maybe one of these warps goes somewhere else. I could destroy the universe again for fun, too. That's also an option. Double black warps? Nothing. What about... Because I was wondering, I'm like, what if I put a black hole that has a matching station somewhere? But I think I'm just fucking around with it now. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Okay. Let's go back to my ship. Let's go test out that second tower. Try not to get sucked up by the sand. See if it does something, and then I'm I'm hitting a wall. I'll figure it out though. Shit. I'm coming, Shippy. I hope I didn't overshoot it. <laughs> and hold, hold. Perfect. Hear that nice soft little thud from my ankles? Not a crunch. Refuel! Hey, a stick! Refuel! Okay. Back to the other twin. Test one more thing. And then it's kind of back to the drawing board for a minute. Where'd it go? You got planet. There it is. At least everything's nice and revealed on it at the moment. Cause that's Timber Hearth. That's the Black Hole Station. That one goes a little bit deeper, but I don't think there's anything down there. This station... Nothing down. I'm curious if any of these are what it's calling the column. Cause it kept referring to a column. I guess the Timber Hearth one would be the central column. It's the middle one out of all of these. So maybe I need to look in there really quick. Kind of t pulling at every string I can think of. 
Oh, Jip, you're on your own. Oh. Is there anything? Oh, yummy trees. Unless... Maybe there's something... on my planet? <laughs> yes, Claren. Nine deaths to go. Then we all get to celebrate. We get to do the funny number celebration. Maybe I need to explore my planet. Or maybe Addle Rock? Maybe the moon. That's the first place I went. I feel like I should go back to my moon now that I understand things a little more. You're using the vet's Wi-Fi? Nice. Welcome to Claren and all the puffers. Okay. We're waiting on the dead man one. So we don't want the sand to give us the big suck. Cory has cherry eye and the doctor took him in to do a checkup. What is cherry eye? Oh, hey, my scout's telling me where the sand's coming from, I guess. Okay. So I'm going to wait because we don't want to get sucked. Once the sand comes in, I'm going to hide in this little bookshelf. Sand's gonna hit first, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Hide in here. Can I see them turn on? I wonder. Come on, sand. Get out of the way. No. Weird. So where would this one send me? Do I just need a booster against the sand? Or is this one just dead? Can I take these out? No? Fucking lame. It's a prolapsed eyelid? It's not serious, but it can cause discomfort. Oh, poor puppy! Mm. What a great game this is! I hope it's entertaining watching me try and solve this last big mystery. I swear, it's always the last one that gives me trouble. Really, my ship? Oh. My ship got taken. Hmm. I was gonna check my log for more notes, but I guess not. Is it said I need to get... They were building it... On Ashwin, and I think within, and then the center column. And there's got to be a quick, quick enough way in to do it early, I think. I'm not sure. I don't want to go back to Anglertown yet. Because it's scary. Now, do I have to... S Next question is, do I have to stand on this... Or if I get hooked on that, will it work? Hi, Cactus. Sir, can you answer some questions? Water, I need water, to know how this works. Water, and water, and water, 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 and water, and water, 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 water. Okay. We're gonna see if my booster is strong enough to keep me here. This is weird. Like, you think, like, there's a black hole here. It would go somewhere, right? <laughs> you like it? All the redeems have some kind of stupid sound or music to them. Thanks for sending the duck in slander. Okay. Okay. Use boosters. We're gonna just brace ourselves. Max boosting! It didn't work! Oh no! No! <laughs> well, at least I can get to my ship. Okay. I'm gonna check out my moon. Because I haven't been there in a. Ow! My ankles! The moon's the first place I went to. Maybe a revisit is worth it. Let me see. Let me look. Uh. Ember Twin. Ash Twin. 
tower, several large my towers form a ring around Ashkin's equator. The Whitehall Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ashkin project. Through my plan to construct technologies capable of producing this, every memory recorded has uh, been Hmm. 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 Oh yeah, Hall's Lantern. Hmm. Is it Quantum Moon? That's Quantum Moon. What would I want to do? What would I want to do? Let's see. When my device created to pinpoint the sources of distant signals, and I were disappointed that the failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. Eskar is growing a crop of trees. Look out. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my moon. I don't think there's anything there. I'm really not sure what to do. I'm wondering if there's another teleport on another planet that I'm just not thinking about. I forgot to set the map. The sun looks kind of angry. Oh god. It was where it said. Ugh. I'm so confused. <laughs> Sun's just always a bit hot headed. Nice. Okay, see, there's all these columns. And so, in theory, the central one is my timber hearth one, which is a big chonker here. There's like a tiny. Sometimes there's little holes. <laughs> Man, I swear, until now, like, all the notes, whenever I saw them, just like, oh, that's connected to this. Oh, that's connected to this. It makes sense. This is kind of like the first one where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, at this moment, I don't know what I'm doing in here. Why did I fly in here? What's wrong with me? My gut instinct now is to go check around. What do you. Go check around Timber Hearth a little bit and the moon. Because those are the first two places I went. And the least I've explored. Alright, let's not bang around. Oh god! Blech, I'm gonna barf! Hey, son, you look a little angry. Uh, where's my planet? Hey, the quantum moon. <clears throat> oh, maybe I just should, uh... You know what? Fuck it. Let's just restart. How about that? Here, everyone. We're gonna get a nice little tan going on. Hope you're all ready. The sun sure sounds ready. Listen to that music. You can't supernova if I go into you first! Okay. 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 What am I doing? How do I get to the Ashwin project? Hmm. What can I do? What could I do? Let's go look at our log. Let's go think. Because I don't want to keep just circling the same two planets. It's not going to lead to anything. Okay, let's look at our log. Just this. Just gotta get there. Does the Whitehall Station have anything? Every Namai warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. If you use a tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with the corresponding astral body. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the tower. The Namai noticed something strange. Warped objects appear to arrive sooner. The negative time interval. Okay. 
Okay, I just need to find a tower, potentially. I went to the sun station. In the city. For camp. Main city. Maybe there's more of the black hole forge I'm forgetting. The warp tower's alignment is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always... This part confuses me. It says, rather, a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. I, I'm kind of confused by that. The warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. The hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a, a shared alignment point in between them. All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, while the six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. Now, my name Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. Diagram depicting the alignment angle between the a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact, they only need to be within five degrees. This results in slightly longer warp windows. Oh yeah, these little rumors. The advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. So they, because they teleported from the black hole station to Ash Twin to drop it off, I believe, is what the notes said. And I've taken the reverse of that to showing up on Ash Twin Somewhere there has to be a way in. Now my plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. And my statues were designed to pair with a single user. Each statue was, you know, was unit. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin project was equipped with a mass, the statue's counterpart, which could then send these stored memories back to the corresponding user. Statues are designed to only activate once the Ashton project succeeded or in the event that it failed. Um, this is one that a lot of people have trouble with. I can give you nudges if you want at some point. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm getting close to wanting a little hint, but I, I can still test a few things. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. The devs actually apologized for it at one point for not having many breadcrumbs. Okay. Hmm. So, okay, let me ask you this, though. These rumors... Because I'm trying to think of them broader. Should I just ignore the rumors and kind of go with more gut feeling on some stuff? Because I have some concepts I'm still following. I think they added a few clues to it too. Oh god, is this with, with the added clues? Hmm. You have no idea what's in my gut? That's fair. That's very fair. Um, It's basically going between... Like, all these things make me point towards... Somewhere on Ash Twin is an entrance I'm just not figuring out. And then, like, that's what the logical part of me is saying. The gut part of me is saying, fucking fly everywhere else and just find something. <laughs> I don't want to really say unless you give me the go ahead. Yeah. I'll probably give it at least another, like, what, 209 my time. If I'm still completely stumped in, like, the next 20 minutes, I'll probably take a little nudge. But there's stuff I can go explore. I can go recheck notes at places. I think we're gonna go to the Black Hole Forge because they were dropping off the project. So I think I'm gonna go start there. Which means I have to go raise it up. <laughs> Thanks for the duck, Jenny. Nice. So let's go... Oh, which means going to Brittle Hollow. We'll go to Brittle Hollow, raise the forge up. There are too many ducks in a tube, I can't let it get clogged. I know, if you don't send enough ducks, 
You've seen what happens. It gets piled up and then we can just get a shitload of ducks. Let's see. So I want to go check out the Black Hole Forge again. See what notes. See what notes were there. Reread them really quick. So first we need to go activate. Or bring down the Black Hole Forge. Oh god. Oh speed. Oh speed. Oh speed. That's fine. Tip's good. Tip's happy. Everyone's fine. Because there's the Black Hole Forge. Floating, bleh, floating down below. Which I kind of don't get why it's dangling down like that. Is it to make it in the center like they were talking about? Uh, where's the platform to land on? This one? Higher. Okay, land. out let us go raise that up and we can go back to sand planet the ash twin we can recheck this see what's up I'm also gonna go reread those notes while i'm here hey, boop. that's black hole forge because i think i started really connecting the pieces until i got stuck over here Let's reread these really quick. The Ashwin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? And then they have two solutions left on the tables. Yoink. Because yeah, this told me that the warp core is going to be in there. I need the powerful one. Solution one, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. Technically, I can. This will require a return to Dark Ramble, Plu uh, Plume, my father, said many good to my parish there. Ugh, don't tell me I need to go get that to do something for the My mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil in the Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. It's still terrifying, though. What Mallory and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish. Uh, I remember the anglerfish fossil we used to play as children. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, recall those present when the vessel crashed that has sustained lethal injuries. There is no guaranteed reward for its risk. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was, a, uh, was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we were able to transport it back here. So those are hints at bringing it back here. What would I do with it? Which is why I kind of want to go to the forge. See if there's maybe somewhere in there that looks like it can fix it. Uh, solution two, we can craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. Banning the vessel's warp core in its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true. However, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the, the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke uh, was a pre- Apprentice to Anona, who created the original design for and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it though? We tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we could choose the option with the least potential for harm. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. <sighs> okay. I'm wondering if that's also the game's way of hinting there's two ways to do it. Getting the core that they already made and bringing it there, or being a fucking angler hunter and bringing back the broken one to fix myself. That's why I kind of want to go back to the black 
warp forge to see if there's like a place where maybe it could be put in Oop, there's a hole potentially as a way to just do it myself even though i don't see how that would relate to ash twin i very much want to go there still though um okay now we want to go back to ash twin I feel like I'm going to have to need to go around this. Hi, Interloper. Sorry you killed everybody. Oh god, I'm flying way too fast. Slow down. Slow down, baby! Oopsies. Overshot. Come on, you can get back there. You can do it. Okay. So let's go. No, don't. Let's dodge this. Jesus. Autopilot. Autopilot's trying to murder me. There's the sun. We don't want the sun one. We want. Where is it? It's like the fourth one, I think. Has it even appeared? Am I early? I feel like I've gone in a big circle where I started stream doing this exact layout and now, what, two hours later I'm just flying around the same circle trying to see if I understand it better. Where are the towers? <clears throat> There's those two. Not what I need. Maybe. Eat more sand. Eat more sand. Come on. Show yourself. Any towers want to come play? I'd like to go to the Black Forge. Hello. Oh, I guess I'll just crash too. That's fine. Hmm. Where'd they go? I lost track. Oh. Is it that one? No. Maybe. No, that's the Timber Hearth one, I think. God, this is going to take longer than I thought. Consume more sand, please. I have places to go. Not the sun. Not the twins. Not Timber Hearth. I need the next one. <laughs> I guess I'll just chill here for a second. Wait for the sand while I contemplate what the fuck I'm doing. Because I want to check out the Black, For Ugh. Black Hole Forge notes again because I swear they said they finished it and they brought it here. Like they, they used the teleport to get here. Which makes you think if I start from the Black Hole Forge teleport, maybe that will... Maybe they'll help me. I don't know. Hmm. Just chilling by the sun, taking it in. Timber Hearth Tower. Oh, cool! It's starting to show finally. Yeah. <laughs> You and your cryptic smile. Uh-oh. Chip, run! With me! Chip, run! Hold on, buddy! Okay. 
cool. <laughs> Hmm. But I'm just realizing. How many towers are here? Because it said, one of the notes I remember saying there are six teleports. But am I only remembering five pictures? Hmm. Because wait, there's the sun is one. Two was the twins. Three was Timber Hearth. Four is this one. Five is the tornado planet. Do the twins count as two? Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go relook at my notes on that. Or is there one I'm missing? Timberhurst, Riddle Hall is a black hole forge, and there's, Dark Bramble doesn't have one, but why would Dark Bramble have one? We have one, two, three, four for the sun, five for Giant Steep. There's not one on Dark Bramble, right? Like, that place is all fucked up. But they said there's six. Like, I just, I'm running through so many things in my head and it just clicked that I swear one of the notes said the six towers. And now that bugs me. Oh, oh, oh god, where am I? Gravity, stop it. Get, get, I don't want to go in the sand. It's letting me clip. I want to go in the black hole forge, please. You can't get me in here, Sand. I have a window. <laughs> like sands through the hourglass winds, so are the loops of my life. Very accurate right now. Not sure why I thought of days of our lives when you were sitting there, but I did. <laughs> now we're just waiting for it to spin around. I was down there, but I don't want to miss my shot. Cause I'll be back with less sand. Dun, 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 dun. So let's see. If, okay, okay. Here, if I were a Nomai and I needed to build a teleporter somewhere to take me to our secret project, where would it be? Because if the black hole people came here. If they at least stopped here and then shot off to another place. <laughs> if they at least stopped here, like stopped at the twins to then also shoot off to another place. What planet has two? What planet has another out? What has a tower? Is there a tower I ran into that I don't remember? Uh, not that way. Oh, pff, I'm walking backwards. There must be another tower I'm forgetting if that's the case. I'm gonna be really upset if I go to my notes and the six towers thing that I'm remembering is just five and I just go, oh. Um, the note was inside. So this is what y'all missed at the beginning. Is me finding the black hole forge. Here I am finding it again. <laughs> so this is their little black hole forge. There's a scroll. Pop. Okay, let's reread this and take it in a little more now. Where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? Please tell me how you get to wherever that location is. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six re six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be a great pain on your, in your cervical spine. So six receivers. Okay, one has to be Ash Twin. Like I'm, I, I'm not crazy. 
The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yarrow, he is familiar with them. Okay, so the high energy. God, I might have to go back to the lab one more time to look, but I really don't want to. I swear I can picture it in my head. Maybe the log has it. All the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. Okay, so it's saying... Wait, the twin one did have two, though. So that is... One takes me back to the other side of Ash Twin. The other one that I was trying to do with the fucking sand, though... Is the sixth one, because there was... I'm gonna have to go back and count. A gratitude! In that case, Pope Clary, uh, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. Okay. That was a little helpful. What about this one? <clears throat> of note, Yarrow believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs. Namely, that one of the warp towers on Ash Twins will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. <gasps> that was the one I was trying to do. It's the other twin. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? This is where I get a little confused. That isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. I seem to recall that, that was your understanding of warp technology at first. No, Yaro understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. What if... Did I try going back? After I went on to Ember Twin with that one, did I try going back and seeing if it goes back to the same point? Maybe. Hmm. Of no Yara believes he spotted a flaw in the warp towers design. They know that one of the warp towers in Ashman will never activate because this warp receiver will never align. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its This is where I get confused on this wording. Is it do you think that a warp tower's alignment point, so a tower, so the sender, is its receiver? Does he not know that warp tower always aligns? He always says the warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. That That's the line that I don't get what they're trying to tell me. This just said it was a diagram of the tower, how it works, I believe. Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's attuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with this astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, providing the next Nomai is not poke. We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. If on it only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body's center. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. Hmm. As such, any Nami stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time is active to avoid accidental transportation. I feel like this is helping and also not. Let's go read this. And then we'll go back and see. I got a few ideas. Oops. I probe. Not what I meant to do, but okay. For an example of the astral body bit, the white hole station doesn't warp you when it's pointed at the receiver on Brittle Hollow, but instead warps when it's aligned with Brittle Hollow itself, as that is the astral body. 
Wait, let me read that way. The Whitehall Station doesn't warp you when it's pointed at the receiver on Riddle Hollow, but instead warps when it's aligned with... Oh, when it aligns with the astral body versus the actual, like, warp piece. So it's like, it's... So they're, they're basically arguing over that it doesn't go to its exact location, it goes to the body itself. And that's why Ash Twin's all weird, because it can't differ. It thinks it's, they're close enough that it counts as one astral body, even if there are two, potentially two cores on it, is what they were saying. I think I'm falling. They're saying that the twins share an astral body. Yep, yeah, okay, okay, that's, that's making more sense. Cool. Science. <laughs> I have good news, Yaro. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the cent in the central chamber of Ashwin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ashwin project decided to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. Welcome home, Claren. No, it isn't. Oh yeah, they were arguing. Isn't everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved any more time. Ignore her, Yaro. Oh yeah, that was... Okay, they're just arguing. That was the other thing I wanted to check out. Is there... Oh, I'm gonna lose my gravity. Was there a spot in the forge here that looks like I could make my own? Doesn't really look like it. It's kind of a room. Okay, so solution one. Either works a different way, or it's a sign that they just said they could. Hmm. Okay, let's go back. Okay, real quick, grab this. This part's spooky. This is the Ash Twin projection. Spooky! Do I need to get in there? And then there's these lights that look like a path? Like, that's where I want to get to. Let me in? Aw. One day. Okay. So there are six warp towers on Ash Twin. Uh, how do I go back? Over here. There are six towers on Ash Twin. One of them has. Blech. Oh, came right in his hand. Gotta love it. Uh, I think I want to go this direction. I don't even know where my ship is. Somewhere way over there. My ship. <laughs> Sorry. This is a timber hearth one. That one functions when it aligns with timber hearth. This. Oh, sun's angry. Sun's getting real angry. Next one, I believe, is the Ashman Towers. Yeah, okay. One of them I've used and it did work. The other one didn't. Oh, perfect. I want to do a quick test. This one does take me. I don't remember if I tried taking it back. For all I know, I died. I want to just see what happens. Suck me up. Give me the suck. Okay. So I'm back here. And what happens if I just go back? I think I just stand on it again, right? Yep. Damn. This looks like the same room. Okay, but this one, look. Look at the symbol up here. It looks like the equator. Then the other room... This one... It wasn't the... It's like off-center from the equator? I don't know how that would help. Hmm. I'm trying to think how... So I have... I know where the six outwarps are. Like, I know where the six towers are. 
I don't know where the six receivers are. I know the sun one. I know Timber Hearth. I know one of the twins. Unless this is linked to a different astral body and I just don't get it. Yeah, I know one of the twins. I know Timber Hearth's son, one of the twins. Uh, the Twister planet. Giant's Deep. Um, the Brittle Hollow one. And there's also on Brittle Hollow has its own white station in and out. The only other out, unless it's doubled up on a planet or a moon, would be... It's either going to be a moon. <clears throat> or... The Bramble... Dark Bramble, but Dark Bramble's a fucking mess. Mm. And this one gets the sand suck. But it said if it's not aligned, it does give you extra time. So maybe I need to be more patient and see what happens here. Oh, no, no sand, no sand. Does it can give you like up to seven seconds or something, right? So here. What if I stay here for a tiny bit? I guess technically it could be there's six towers here and then there's just a mysterious tower on another planet that I'm unaware of. Ow! Cactus! Oh! It's sun time! Here. Let's all have a nice view. We'll just watch the sun. We'll watch the sunset together. That'll be nice. Ah. Just take it in. Man, but where would there be another tower? a little silence in space. Hey, where'd the sun go? There's the sun. Hey, sun. Ah. Let's just fire my boy out there. Go check out the sun. <laughs> Bye, Scout! I miss you! Oh. Scout, go. Catch the sun. Scout's still chasing it. Okay. So. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm still... I feel like I've... I've put together things, but I don't know what to use. I don't know what to use them for. Because... So they said there's six towers, and one of them has two, so there's two cores. I don't know how to get that one to fire out, unless I had to be in it when the sand's coming, and then I don't know how to deal with the sand, unless I waited until the very, very end of the day. Want a nudge or a piece of information the game doesn't tell you that might be a dead giveaway if I told you? Um. Yeah. I'll take a little nudge at this point. You can give me. Oh, might as well pause. Give me a little cri cryptic hint because I feel like I'm just looping around the same notes in a different way each time.
Hmm. Cause now I'm trying to think like there's is the sand just in the way. I'm on the right track with the teleporter without the roof. Okay. Wow. Like my next idea was just like at some point the sand does stop. <laughs> you have all the information the game has available to help you. Yeah. Okay. At least knowing I'm on the right planet is one thing. Uh, oh, actually, if I now that I know I can sleep here. It may take some experimentation to actually experimentation words. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, knowing that, that that tower is the right direction does give me some ideas to work with. Hey Slate. Bye Slate. I'm gonna take a nap. Wait. Oh, doze off. Oh, it's doze off on the fire. Maybe I could have dozed off at the other camp. Just uh, everyone lean back. We're going to take a little nappy poo. Yeah. Taking a nice little nap. What? No. Won't keep. No, not marshmallow. Mm, marshmallow. Ah, just the way Grandpa liked it. <laughs> Gone. All right, let's doze. I'm going to have a little water. Because <clears throat> it doesn't make sense in the big picture, but if the sand is what's making it hard for me because I can't stand on that platform, then I'm going to wait until all the sand's gone and go stand on that platform. <laughs> Can I speed this up faster? No, this is as fast as we can go. I guess I'll take it. Oh, god damn it. Uh, how far is Sand Planet? Where's my scope? Let's see. Now that I know how to actually properly rest, maybe I can do it at that other campsite. Let's go check. Oh, where are you guys? The twins. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, why am I not flying? I didn't buckle up. Whee! Okay. How much time is there? Not nearly enough. There's still so much sand on there. Let's go see if I can nap on the other planet, though. Because then I can just wake up and take a peek at how the sand's doing. Might be a little convenient. Because either I need to get... Either it, the tower is not at its target, so I need to get the target in the way, but I, would, I don't know how I would move an astral body. Do I know how I would move an astral body? It's that or the sand is blocking my way, is my other thought that I'm going to test. <clears> hmm. <throat> Let's eliminate all the sand. It'll be the end of the day, but at least we'll be able to test if its rotation on its own without me interfering with something will help. Doze off. Okay, so there was. You just had to do it at the campfire, not the sleeping bag. Give it like another, like, what, five minutes? I'm assuming that's just real time passing by. And each day is, I'm guessing, 22 minutes, because that's what the memory things are set to. Hmm. Like, I, I get what the game's doing, but part of me really wishes I could just be like, go to this time. Like, go, go to, go 10 minutes sleep. 10 minute nappy. 
Alright, just look how it's doing. Where's sand? Oh, this is a good view of it, too. Still full of sand. A little more sleep. Everybody hydrate. Drink your water. It's good for your kidneys. And your skin. And your eyes. And everything. Water and water and water, water, water and water and water, exactly. water, water and water and water, water, water and <laughs> Hi, Drippy. Um My only concern is I'm gonna sleep through the sun. Which I kinda am curious what happens. Alright, plenty of sleep. How's that planet doing? Looking a bit less sandy. Enough for me to go chill over there? Yes, son, I see you. I'm still pretty sandy. Yeah, the other idea would be how would I change the alignment? Crashing into it really hard! That's how. Hmm, that's still your jetpack. Okay, a little more nappy poo. It's like a minute or two. Then we're gonna fly over there, and we're gonna do a test. We're just gonna do a test until the end, I suppose. Because I'm pretty certain at one point the sand all stops. I'm actually not 100% certain now. But we're gonna go do that test. This will at least eliminate one variable. I gotta put on my real scientist hat again. Oh god, not the sun. Not after all that. Oh god, come back. Come back. I don't like how close it gets to the sun either. It's terrifying. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see you, sun. That's not- you're not what I'm going for. Okay. Plop my ship down at these towers. My little dead guy. Boom. And we're just gonna chill here until the day's done doing some science. Wonder if I could jam my ship. <laughs> Shove my ship up there. Mm, check out the sun. Nice and toasty. <laughs> no bully ship. I know. I do. Ship would be protecting us though, not bullying. We still full of sand. Ow. Uh, I guess I'll stay here. And if I if I see the sand coming to pick me up, I'll hide in that little hole. Cause let's see, what does this one pass? It passes the sun, it passes the deep, it passes one of the moons. What else could it send me to of interest? Hmm. And then it passes its twin, which is very useful. Because I'm assuming that's where I'm going to want to go is the twin. Oh, we have sand. I hear sand. But unless I see sand. Oh, I see sand. Shit, shit. No, 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 my experiment! No, 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 no. God damn it. Okay, we can fly back. We can fly back by gravity. Okay, 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 okay. This is fine. This is going well. We are here. We're good. I don't know if this experiment of mine is going to work. <laughs> you hate to see it. What else is up there? Let me look. Damn sand. 
I know, unless this one goes to the quantum moon and I need to adjust the quantum moon. Oh, there's sun music. But why would I want to go to the quantum moon? I've been to the quantum moon. Is there a teleporter on the quantum moon? The only other... That's the only space thing I can think I could control is out the quantum moon. Is that putting all the puzzles together? Hmm. Where's the twin? So I would have to get the quantum moon in alignment with... Timberfirth is pretty decent. Or maybe I want to get in alignment with Ember Twins and just not look at it. Constantly keep my head down. That might be really fucking tricky though. Yeah, my ship. Oh, I was standing on the wrong one. Hey look, no sand! It's perfect! You guys, it's gonna work! It's gonna happen! Look, there's no sand, like I said! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> okay, okay, so I, waiting for the sand, not plausible. Good to know. Mm. <laughs> okay, so they kept talking about... The astral body has to be within its trajectory. And so either this either I have to work around the sand because the sand's stopping me from being in it at the right time. Or I have to catch when a rotating body like the moon or the quantum moon is there. Quantum moon's there right now. Well, now it won't be. What sucks is I can try lining up the quantum moon, but <laughs> how am I going to keep an eye on it? That sounds so impossibly hard. Because now it's gone. And if I keep looking up, the planet's rotating. So I wouldn't be able to keep an eye on it. I'd have to like plant my scout on another planet staring up at the moon so it doesn't leave. Which I guess actually is possible. You know what? Fuck it. Uh... Scout, come here. Oh, scout's in my ship. I was wondering why he wouldn't come out. Wasn't that something that was taught in one of those quantum lessons? Yeah, as long as something is observing it or a reflection of it, I believe. That's what they kept saying. I would assume my planet views giant deep consistently, it looks like. Or no, my planet would view brittle hollow consistently. So, where's brittle hollow? I don't even know what teleporting to the quantum moon would do. Okay, there's Brittle Hollow. Like, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Oh, I guess I didn't need to hop out, huh? Scout! Take a picture. Oh, in fact- Oh, hey, what good timing! There's the quantum moon! I don't know if this will work though. I'll probably have to do it up on twins. Hello? Oh, hi Quantum Moon, you're around me now. Oh yeah, when I get in my ship, it takes the picture off. So I'm gonna have to do it on the twins. Honey Zoku, thank you for following. Welcome to the cafe. Hello, hello. 
Welcome to space. Where everything's confusing. Because I'm trying to think. I'm stuck at the options of I can stop the sand or I can move the quantum moon. And there's probably multiple other options. I don't even know. Oh, God, I'm going way too fast. Shit! <laughs> Woo! Evasive maneuvers! Okay. Okay, let's try. <sighs> Smooth landing. Perfect. No damage. <laughs> Gravity capture. I guess I should, uh... Oh, it's just my headlights and my landing gear. and I guess I'll fix it. I'll take care of you, Shippy. Hang on. Prepare that. It's a fun game, though. Like, we're on um, just the last bit of the main game. I haven't touched the DLC. I want to do that after. But, like, this is my log. We got the whole wobbly blobbly ne nest going on. I'm just stuck on how to get into the Ash Twin. So that's what you're joining us on right now. And I'm, so it's confusing. Because I need to get inside here if I'm understanding it right. And there's another, so there's six towers on here. Then there's the twin tower and they kept saying one doesn't work because it's not aligned. But it's just that, but it might be that it's not aligned properly. You can see that I actually just finished the game and I'm already here watching other people. <laughs> nice. I do the same thing with Tunic. I don't know if you've ever played it. But it's got the same, like, mystery-solving atmosphere to it. And once I solved it, I watch other people because it's so fucking entertaining. Oh, there they are. Okay. There's the sand. Not yet, it's next on Oh, yeah. Get no information about Tunic. It's, it's my game of the year. Which is funny because everyone that recommended it to me said it's their game of the year. When I played it, I'm like, this is pretty good. But by the end, I'm like, holy shit, it's the best. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, okay, there's too many ducks in the gym! You can't summon all of them! Look at all these ducks! How am I gonna take care of all these ducks now? Look what you did! Fogging up my tube with ducks. <laughs> oh yeah, for those of you that don't know, I got a bunch of uh, chaotic little redeems. Just my goblin brain making up shit. And there's a 10% chance each of them has a, a rare version. A little shiny hunt, if you will. And that's uh, that's the duck one. So oh, congratulations. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh yeah, quantum moon. <laughs> up there. I don't want it up there. What would I constantly be viewing from here? How? How would I be able to keep the quantum moon? Hmm. I'm still confused. If it's unaligned... Mm. You do tend to get the shinies. I don't know how you do it. Very impressive. Hey, Quantum Moon. Come back. Like, there's a part of me that just wants to, like, hunker down and just sit on the teleporter until something happens. I don't think that's the best way to go. You need that luck for kicking Alex's ass in Mahjong, but here I am spending it here. I mean, I think it's worthy spending it here. <laughs> There's my scout. Oh yeah, scout. You wanna take pictures of that? Maybe I can spot the, the moon. Oh, there's a quantum moon. Okay. Okay, we just flew past the quantum moon, so I don't think that's it. That would have worked. So it's something else. Oh, but it wasn't all the way down. Also, I don't... I don't know why the quantum moon would work. Like, my only thought is like, okay, so this one... Yeah, I'm in the right one. But when the sand sucks me up... It's not good. Like, I'm about to get the suck. 
that I don't want. No, 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 stop, no, 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 no. I tried to dodge it. Put me down, put me down. Okay, okay. Because they were saying one of the towers doesn't work. This one takes me properly up there. But this one is on the equator. So, or no, this one's not broken. Right? Oh, this is the broken side. Hmm. And so this one isn't broken, so it's able to take me up properly. So how do I change something or get the timing just right for something? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I want this to send me somewhere. I don't know where. Um, there's a quantum moon again. Did not send me. Okay, so I don't have to rearrange a quantum moon. That's good to know. Doesn't go to the quantum moon. I don't know why it would. Good to know. What can I use? Maybe I do need to use my ship to protect myself. What can I do? What can I do? Because the other thought I had, which I don't believe would be the answer, is there's another tower on another planet that I didn't really know what to do with that puts me in the Ash Twin. Gotta be something with the broken tower. And uh, I can offer another not giveaway nudge if you like. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'm more stuck than usual on this one. You're the sand. Sands are coming. Sand. Yeah, because I feel like I'm stuck at a point where it's just going to be, like, sciencing out a whole bunch of stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay! Okay, hang on, I'm pausing this. I did it! <laughs> I... Okay, I don't know what you wrote yet. I just... Okay, but... <laughs> okay, this is our big break, yeah, yeah. Everyone, everybody party. <laughs> oh my god. Science rules. Inertia is a property. I did it. Oh god. T minus seven seconds. Oh finally. Yeah, I basically just as you typed out your hint, it ran into my head because I'm just like watching the sand moving up and I'm just staring at him like, wait, what if I just run out there while it's halfway there? I'll technically touch the ground for a second. I thought I was just going to get sucked away. I did not expect it to actually boot me up here wherever I am. Oh, oh this is the barf zone. Oh, no. Oh, 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 my God. Okay, don't walk on that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna look at the ground a little bit. Cause all that spinning might. No. <gasps> the statues. Which one's mine? Are you mine? You just. No. You're not mine. You don't smell like it. Are you mine? No. Are you mine? Hmm. One of them's mine. It's okay. Look down. Whoa. I, I didn't jump. Something hopped me. Here, Scout, go out there. It's out there, Scout. <laughs> oh. Oh, we are literally the core. Oh, neat. Oh. Fucking neato. It's just like, um, the gravity training area. Cool. Okay, let me read these. <laughs> just look down to avoid the motion sickness. Yeah, I think I'm okay at- No, never mind, I'm gonna try my hardest not to look. 
stupid motion sickness. 11 minutes, 41 seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. Mask receiving data from probe tracking module, giant speed memory statue, timber hearth memory statue. Okay. So this runs into my, I'm going to pause it while I talk. I got a lot of theories now that are going to start getting put together. Because my theory is that they gave memory to the, either gave memory to the probe. So the probe keeps resetting and shooting its trajectory. And it did that till it found the eye, which I have the coordinates for. And I need to go, I need to fix the warp core so I can go plug those into the vessel and take it to the eye. And then who knows what will happen. I'll probably break, break the universe. And that's cool. Um, or the other memory, the third one, is attached to, because there's me, there's Garbo, and then maybe a mystery person who has fired off this probe nine million times. If so, I feel really bad for them. But yeah, it's saying the data is received from probe tracking module, so someone or something there, giant speed memory, which is Garbo, and then Timber Hurt, which is me. Yeah, that's what the third mask is. So I have the understanding that one's me, one is Garbo, and one is uh, the probe itself or something in the probe. Oh, is the music loud here? Hang on. Doop, turn that down. Certain places in this game are really fucking loud. Let me know if I need to change it anymore. 11 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Okay. Oh, so 11. Oh, so I came like halfway through a day. Ooh, I want to find... Oh, this one fell off. That's that's not good. Did someone lose some memory? Oh, let's keep wandering. Ooh, notes. Oh, Marf. Oh, there's a statue here, even. A little... Oh, kiss for you. Okay, lore. Lore, please. Yarrow. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we carved, uh, here in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we, uh, we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the high energy lab. I still can hardly believe Raimi's hypothesis was true. Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to for the final tower to us from the black hole forge. Now Ashman can be connected with Giant Steep, where Cassava is working with Avens to craft an orbital probe cannon, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the uh, last to be forged. Hypothesis. The cores could have been forged faster if Cassava had interrupted my work less frequently <laughs> to ask for updates. Fucking love how sassy the Namai are. The important point is we are all connected through Ash Twin now. And also that I'm no longer needed for med uh, mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giant Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mela tells me the cannon is doing well, and that Avens advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avens can. See, with all this stuff we've learned about the power of that cannon, I have a feeling Avens, who wanted the max power, might be the third memory if it's a person. But then if anyone can, you know, can goad a device into exploding that, too, is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avens that Mallow, his love, will be uh, one of the Nomai aboard the uh, cannon? Or, his, uh, or is Mallow part of the problem? Didn't Mallow also want to make it go explode fast? Flox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ashwin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pai and Idea have worked hard on the sun station. Oh my god, the game's getting so loud for me. I hope your guys' end's fine. Pai and Idea have worked hard on the sun station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power uh, supply the power the Ashpin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. 
This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. So it is, they're creating a loop. They're blowing up the sun to charge the stat uh, charge the backwards time jump with the memories going with it. So it's stuck in a loop forever. Well, at least I am, because my memories go. Okay. Sun was coming through my blinds. <clears throat> We're nearly ready to activate the Ashwin project. Here's what will happen. First, the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ashton project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launched back, back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ashton project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. We can? How? These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ashwin project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Uh, oh, we were only unable to power it. Perhaps the, uh, there is another way. Suppose we redesign the sun station, generate power of that magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Idea, but you'll need to find some uh, way to halt our aging process. So, okay, wait, wait. Putting a few more clues together. Does this mean that they set this up so it's automated that the probe would fire after receiving the signal that time has gone back 22 minutes and the supernova is what triggers the 22 minute jump back with all the memories, but their device failed and so they just kept going. But it, it turns out that what they did just caused a supernova to go off much later is my guess. And so in my timeline, the supernova is happening where the reaction finally kicked into gear, which then triggered the 22 minutes in my timeline way outside of theirs, which is why they're all skeletons, because the fucking asteroid or the comet killed all of them in the meantime. And so their loop is stuck in my time period, which is years, 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 centuries, whatever, past when they activated all these autopilot shit. And so now we're stuck in their loop because it got delayed. I think that's what's going on and it's blowing my mind a little bit. And it's super fucking cool. And they said there's a way to turn it off and they didn't think the supernova was coming so they probably never did. So that's probably going to be my goal is to turn it off. Which hopefully also stops the sun. <laughs> but describing Tenet! <laughs> I've never seen Tenet, but I've heard enough jokes about it to feel like maybe I am. That's the one where, like, they're half moving backwards in time or something, and it gets just super convoluted. Like, I only want to watch that for the, uh, the VFX, because I've heard it's really cool, but I've heard the story is dumb as shit. <laughs> Which also is something I would love. Okay, what do these notes say? Will it confirm more of my theory? We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet- <gasps> A comet has newly arrived in this solar system and we're anxious to explore it. You fools! You fools! Don't do it! It'll end you all! It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're, uh, we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Don't- Don't do it, you fools! Well, rip in peace. Oh, mm, barf cannon. Um, so how do I turn you off? Well, you're a big ball. What's this? Ooh, ooh, I got some controls. Artificial gravity control. Oh. Oh, I kind of want to turn that off, and I'm gonna regret it. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> the four eyes smiley, nice. 
Oh, take it easy, uh, uh, Kanizoko. I just realized, Kani Kanizoku. <laughs> yeah. Catch you later. Okay. Classic Outer Wild moments. I'm glad. I don't know what this. What? Is, hang on. What does this do? I should probably. Can I read you? Oh well, I put it in. <laughs> Up you go. I don't know what you do. <gasps> a core. It's a core. I need the core. That's why I gotta turn off gravity. You're about to access the core while the Ashwin project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ashwin project. Uh oh. Do I get one go? What happens? Do I have to start a new grain? Don't break it, Smashly. You're not the boss of me. I'm gonna break it. Um, anti gravity off? Or gravity off? Oh, I'm floating. Wee! Oh, it is. The warp core. Okay. I'm kind of concerned to take it. But here we go. I know what to do with it. I don't think there's enough time. Oh, it, oh, it got silent. It got so silent. Uh, Hang on, I'm turning the music back up to you guys real quick. It's so quiet. I don't like it. Can I have gravity again? Um, uh, ooh, ooh, why'd you hit? Oh, my flashlight. Oh, hey, that's the thing I wanted to check out before. Wait, were all these here and I didn't look? Hmm, don't put that down. That's, it's fine, don't worry about that. I realized I didn't read these. I got, I got so traversed over there. Let's read these. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ashwin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well- wait. Oh, these are from the other place. Yeah. These are the notes I've already read. Have I read this one? Remember her? My gratitude for the latest shipment, O-N-O. -O. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Project. Oh, the other end of the phone. That makes sense now. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure that there are no longer any physical entrances. Raimi and I will be checking the interior and the exterior for cracks or final safety check. This is exciting news. Can I offer an, an extra set of eyes for this final check? Specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better. As the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ashwin project could lead to disaster. Who would tamper with this project? Crazy person, that's who. Not me. Ooh, one more. Giant ski. Is this one I've read before? <clears throat> I've installed the mass inside the Ashwin Project box. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. This comforting to know the statues will not pair until the pro uh, project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need the, uh, to activate once the project succeeds, as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. There's construction outside and I heard revving up and I thought it was the game. <laughs> they will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ashton project, the statues and their mass will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Who would do that? That's crazy. Y'all a bunch of crazies. Anyways, I'm just gonna take this, juggle it around a little bit. What a good day. A little kiss for you. Get out of here. All right. Oh, hang on. I want to see where the Timber Hearth one. The Timber Hearth one is a projection I don't think I've seen. I want to see where that shows really quick. Uh, no, Timber. Timber. 
It's my home. What if I just chucked the warp out there? What if I fly the warp into the sun? Oh. Wait, this is Timber Hearth? Where is this on my planet? Have I been here? It's very dark. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. <gasps> oh, wait, that's the speckly stuff. Oh, I might need to go exploring in the gravity place. No, either I went here and it's been so long I don't remember, or I haven't been there. You think I've been there? There's a good chance. This this game's fucking big. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Gravity. Alright, well, I'm taking this now. Uh, whoa! Um... Huh? Uh... Uh-oh. Uh... Uh-oh? Um... It was aligned when I left? Uh-oh. <laughs> Did I break it? Okay, I just had to walk far enough away, I think. What a funny coincidence. <laughs> I thought- I thought the game was messing with me. So... Sun, you're not gonna explode anymore, right? No, wait, the sensation should still be active. I know what to do with this, but I'm pretty sure I don't have the time. Fight the sun? I, I'm i sort of just going to accept this one and see what happens when I die without the twin project active. Which sounds like a horrible idea. But you know, wouldn't be my stream if I didn't try all the bad things. <laughs> Is it time for speedrun? My next day sure is. I'm here. Where's the sun? What do I think will happen? I think... So... Okay, well, it's while well, the sun's doing its damn. Um, so if the twin project's not active, it says if there's a failure, the memory things will... S ask, would give a way to fix it? So... Oh, the sun station failed. This is natural heat death. <laughs> so either I'm not going to remember anything and I'm just going to get an end credits. Or... It was interesting because they said if they fail, it would give a way for, this, for them to fix the statues. But I don't know what they mean by that. I'm not super sure. But I do need to take this back into Angler Fish Alley. I'm just waiting for the sun. Hmm. I couldn't tell if the music was different. It's it sounds like there's more like a like a keyboard playing in with it. Unless I pause the sun. I'm just chilling. Waiting to see. More urgency, perhaps? Yeah, it does feel a little bit like when Mario is running out of time. And it's like starting to pick up, or like Sonic when you are running out of air. The most nightmare fuel of music. I mean, I'm just kind of waiting for the sun to end, because I want to get a fresh day, go in, grab this, run the jot down the coordinates run the angular fish alley and teleport the vessel out of here to the eye and see if i can break the universe that's my goal hmm. is it changing it looks it looks darker right maybe i maybe i can fly back to my planet get a nice view actually where's my, my ship's gone my ship's over there <laughs> What if it doesn't blow up and you just wait, you're just waiting for nothing? That's what I'm wondering. That's why I'm curious. I'm like, did I actually stop the sun? I guess I'll start flying out there. 
and just watch it in the distance. Set coordinates for Dark Bramble. Oh, it just got quiet. Oh, nope. Goodbye. Well, Everybody buckle up. Enjoy. Space. What's going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> I are dead. <laughs> oh, no. Credit. I did it. The loop's broken. I got the good ending. Bad ending. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the second time I've beaten the game technically, right? I'm gonna let this play because I gotta check my shiggies real quick. <laughs> you feel like that should count as two deaths? What, just because it's so impactful? Or because I actually died this time. I've died when I broke the universe, I believe. Yeah, there's um there was a time where it was at the what is it called? The the energy station, the testing lab, whatever it is, where you can play with the portals. Yeah, I shot <laughs> yeah, I shot a probe through the black portal, and when you have the power on, you can see it coming through. And so when I shot it through as one was appearing in the future, I pulled mine back so there were two of my probes, or my scouts for a moment, and that cracked and broke the universe. I think I broke my neck before getting off Timber Hearth as well. Oh yeah, that was my first death, is I was like, hey, is there fall damage in this game? And I jumped off a tree. <laughs> Oh yeah, I didn't have the statue yet, so I guess jumping off would uh just actually be an end for me there, huh? Okay. Now let's get the good ending, right? Oh, load previous save. I was like, what if it just said new game and there was nothing else? Yep, that very first death. Okay. Now, we can speed run it. So we need to go get the core, go to Brittle Hollow, fly through the big old space buttholes, take it to the vessel through the fucking anglerfish. Ooh, wait, I want to check my log, because the sand's going to be in the way for a minute. Yeah. Look at my nest. Beautiful. Then we're going to take it. Ooh, ooh, hold up. I almost forgot to write down the coordinates. I would have cried. Uh, I have a picture of them. There they are. Those. I'm going to draw those because you don't get them when you get to the thing. And I didn't know that. It looks like boop, boop. That, and then that. Obviously, this is... Actually, it's spoilers for another game that I'm not going to mention. Okay. Let's go flying. Um, I don't know if I've break broken the universe today, but that last one kind of counts. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Logan, but I'm like, ooh, people are going to be playing... Uh, Tunic. I'm not gonna be saying anything about it besides it is a great game. Alright. Coming into Sand Planet. I don't think there's anything else. It does have a cute little lad. I love the character on Tunic. He's so cute and precious. Okay, so I think I could have probably taken a little nappy poo waiting for this. I'm gonna have to wait for some sand to leave. So once the teleporter shows up, we can jump mid-sand. 
get inside. I'm gonna be stuck here for a second. We will just circle it. This is pod racing. I'm excited because I I feel like I'm I could be wrong with how these games work. There could be like five more hours of content, but I feel like I'm getting close to like quote unquote the end. And so I'm really excited to figure that out. And then DLC. I'm like, what am I doing after? DLC. Yeah, one of the um, one of the people that recommended this game told me where the DLC starts. And when I went there, they're like, you know, they told me like, if you don't want to be spoiled to DLC or save it for afterwards, don't follow that path yet. So I'm like, okay, and I just ditched it. <laughs> Man, are there more games like this in Tunic, where it's just crazy exploration and problem solving? Is this this shit's my jam? I want just more of this. But I also really like hardcore Retrovania, uh, Metroidvania stuff where I gotta shoot and fight. So I don't know. Give me both. Like I feel like Death's Door was not as extreme puzzle, but it was definitely in that realm. I really like Death's Door. Full Metal Furries? Oh, Full Metal Fury. <laughs> Full Metal Furies? As an element of that in studio fighting. <laughs> I thought you were recommending a furry game. Which I would probably play. <laughs> yeah, we gotta play Full Metal Furries. I haven't done it myself. It's up it's up to four Ooh, a multiplayer. Add dyslexia to the list. I probably a little bit, but not enough. I don't feel like I have dyslexia enough. To be like, hmm, do I actually, like, should I get diagnosed as an issue? I do have spoonerisms, which is a fun one. Because spoonerisms are where you flip parts of words. Um, I know I've said it before on here, but it's, oh, there. Power. Um, like, the spoonerism that always gets me is, I'm going to have to concentrate, hand sanitizer. I can't say it normally. If I don't focus, I will say sand sanitizer. I've, I've switched the letters. So that's a spoonerism. Or like, instead of saying alphabet soup, you say alphabet oop. Stuff like that. So that's called a spoonerism. Like, I think everyone does it every once in a while. I do it a lot. It takes an extra layer of focus to not do it. I know there was one time um, I used to teach in college and I, I can't remember what it was. It was a scientific term. And when I said it, I did, pulled a spoonerism and I flopped, uh, flopped the letters around like that. And it turned into like a very dirty phrase. And I cannot remember for the life of me what it was, but I just had to stop and just stare at the class and be like, I am so sorry. <laughs> and I think I had to teach them what spoonerisms are. Didn't help. <laughs> Come on, Sand. Oh fuck, I'm, I'm right in the way. <laughs> Did I park my ship in a good place? Seems fine enough. Yeah, besides ADHD. And a bunch of other stuff. My brain usually just runs too fast to process things properly. I wonder how early. I assume my feet have to touch the pad at the bottom. Ugh. I want another tattoo, y'all. I was talking to Evie about it. Um, Evie's my wife. I was talking to her about tattoos the other night. I'm like, God damn it, I want another fucking tattoo. Like, I want to get, um, I want to get a fox. Not because of Tunic, ironically, but now it works really well. But I want to get because of um, The Little Prince. One of my favorite books. And I just want to fill up my arm. I have, like, not a full sleeve, but I have a pretty tattooed out arm that I want to keep going. Boxlad would be good. I would not have any issues putting a little tunic 
Or maybe like one of the symbols or something from it. Oh, I could put, I could put the big thing at the end. It would be very, it would be very simple to do. Oh yeah, that would be, that would be a really interesting one to get that emblem. You <laughs> come on, port, come on, portal. We're waiting. If I'm gonna have to redo this day, I'm going to take a nap for like. I guess when I get in there, it'll give me a time, right? I can figure out when the portal became active. Okay, Dan's going. All right, portal, hit me up. Come on, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I already have a Zelda tattoo. I have an, I have a chemical tattoo. I have a Final Fantasy tattoo. Evie's always asking, she's like, why don't you get a One Piece tattoo? And my answer is, I don't know. I gotta figure out what I would want. There is a really good anime tattoo artist. Whee! In my area, though. So I don't really have a reason not to. Okay. Time, please. Seven mi Oh, God, it takes eight minutes to get in here. So if I have to redo this, I could go sleep for, like, six minutes and then go wait. Also, eight minutes? Timmy's, Timmy's only, have like, what, 14 minutes left to fucking get there and solve this? Up. Where'd the ball go? Oh. Up, 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 up. More up. More, more up, please. Yeah, speed run. I'm gonna have to, huh? Less gravity. Oops. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wonder if I need gravity to activate the teleporter again. Or if I just had to, like, kind of touch it. Eyeball. No, I'm trying to get gravity. This is complicated. Oh, God damn it, I turned it back off, didn't I? I always do that. There. Okay, okay. We got we got the core. Oh. We're running. I mean we're walking. Character doesn't really run. Okay, this is double warps me again, I'm gonna laugh. Hey. Okay, ship, where are you? We're going on a grand adventure, shippy. Across the Grand Lion. Okay, and I wrote down the symbol. That way I know how to put in the coordinates. I just have to get there, not die to anglerfish, and figure out how to make the whole thing work. <laughs> Yo -ho -ho. Uh, I need to go to Dark Bramble. Lift off. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no! This is the worst time to hurt my ship! Fuck! Oh no! Autopilot! Whoa, why are the thrusters going still? Oh, it's still an autopilot! No! No, 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 no! It's still an autopilot! Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> Jim, stop! Abort! Oh no! Oh no, don't tell me I jammed it! Okay. <laughs> of course I would do this! I know we don't have time, Claren. I had to fix the ship. This wasn't on purpose. Uh, oh god, it's like doing the sun's music right now. Okay, fix that. And then what's the other part that's broken? Oh, is it up here? Really pretty damaged. Okay, okay, fixing the problems. I'm just making my life harder. That's fine. This is what I do. This is my life. Okay, lift off first before I click anything. Oh, and then I deselected the bramble. Where is it? We got bramble. Bramble. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of my expectations of me. I do this with everything. Autopilot. 
Oh, trust me now. Accelerating right into the butthole. Okay, I need to follow the distress beacon in there. Ugh. We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go through the fucking anglerfish again. I hate this so much. I'm just gonna keep my stressed face on. Hey, Quantum Moon! Look, the Quantum Moon came to say, send a goodbye to us. Aw, thanks, Quantum. Alright, going in. Shoop. Alright, it's... No, no, slow... Just ship, you slow down right now. Why is it the far one? Why is it gotta be the far one? God damn it. Soul and him seeing me off, aww. Ugh, why does it have to be the one that's really far away? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Get there before any fishies find me. <laughs> I hate this zone, it's my least favorite area because it terrifies me. Okay, no. Uh, stress beacon, stress beacon, stress bacon. Oh, over there. Okay, over there. I'm sure I could lock on to sounds. Can you? No. Um, up here. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, lights, the lights, lights. Good, good, good. Lights are good. There's the, there it is, there it is. Um, okay, we want to go this way. Yeesh. I hate this place, and I'm going to hate the next part even more. <clears throat> okay. Pause here. Steady ship. I gotta go. Oh, wait. I can launch a probe from here. I don't have to go in. I forgot. Probe. Go get him. Probe. Try again. There it goes. Okay. Probe is at the vessel. Good. And we can follow the duplicate and then do my fucking floating through space act with the goddamn fishies. I'm gonna hold my breath because it scares me so bad every time. <sighs> All right, ship. This is where I say goodbye for now. Be good, ship. I love you. Okay, we got the warp. Okay, we're gonna enter and do nothing. Everyone, chill. Everybody, chill. Enjoy the music. the warp so I died. Oh, fuck me! My feetsies. I need to find out, and I, this is the worst time to try and find out, I need to find out if I can, um, if I can use my actual boosters there. Offer a small tip save, uh, small time saving, oh, time saving, yeah, go for it. Yeah, if it's something I've already figured out how to do, but I can do it quicker. Yeah. Wait, no, I want a nap. This is like fucking eight minutes in. Okay. We're gonna doze for like, say like six minutes? Target the vessel from the ship log sometime while you're eating. While I'm eating. Maybe having to follow the- Oh! I did learn that mechanic. And I just haven't had any <laughs> waiting. 
I was wondering, I'm just like, do I have to do it while I eat a marshmallow? Because I'll eat marshmallows. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I used that for like one thing and then forgot. Thanks, Paladrin. Nom 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 vessel. Okay, we'll hit five minutes. And then we'll go. And go time. Speed run. Yeah, targeting the vessel makes a lot more sense. I'll make sure to eat while I do it. Okay. Yep. Um, the vessel was... Fuck. <laughs> Where was the vessel? The vessel. Cool. Mark location. Does that mean I can fly around the fish? Does the... Right? That's the secret you gave me. I don't I don't want to fly through the fishies, right? Please. <laughs> I hate that area so much. Like I don't scream that much when I'm playing horror games. Something about that area with those fish. Of course there's still a problem. To go. Twins, get back here. Hello. There they are. You can make small course adjustments just gently. I did it in the shit. Oh. Okay. So you can only do like little like. Spoot, spoot. <laughs> so scary. I fucking hate that area. Oops. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Too much power. Too much power. Oh, perfect. There's a tower I need. Chip, you park yourself over here. Chip, you park right here. gently but if you don't you, know, if you don't hit anything your momentum will get you there that's what i did the first time i just pushed through and i let the momentum carry me to it and i kind of oh shit so i kind of thought that was the puzzle itself eat oh god oh god oh god oh god hang on just in time just in time just in time boom That next section is visible. I gun it and let it go just before the transition and coat. That's what I did the first time, and it went perfectly through the fish. I feel like I'm going to have to be aware that I have to do little tiny boosts here and there. Okay. Well, <laughs> the vessel keeps spinning around. Orb, come to me. I have thievery to do. Come here. Come on, little ball. Come on, buddy. You got this. Go. Go. There. Then... Oh, but shit. I still have gravity on. Gravity off. It's funny thinking back to when I first started this game and it has like the little like gravity training section that teaches you how to like fly around and stuff. And oh, I don't have my flashlight on, no wonder. And like thinking back to that where I'm just like, I could not fly well. I'm not saying I fly perfect now or anything, but I actually get around. Whee! Okay. Begin the speed run. Again. Part two. The Duke scene. Uh shit. I just want to get past those goddamn anglerfish. I just hate them. With a passion. Okay. I have the vessel. Mark. Dark Ramble. Lock on. Lift off. Engage. 
<laughs> get the gold split? New, new PB? You mean new personal best? I'm not sure what you're referencing, Claren. I'm assuming speedrunner strategies. Oh, fuck me! God damn it! <laughs> I didn't look for the sun! <laughs> was that is that the gold split, Claren? Did I do it? <laughs> None of you should be surprised. Look, I'm just gonna win this on my 69th death. That's all it's coming down to. You guys know it. It was foretold in the prophecy of time. Oh yeah, add another one. <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow, Nyx. Welcome to the cafe. Hello, hello. <laughs> I hope you enjoy me flying into the fucking sun. Is one death too many? No, I think it's correct. Maybe? I don't know. I'm sure there's some secret ones in there that we didn't catch. <laughs> Either way, we're getting pretty close to the funny number death. Hopefully after I get to the vessel. Especially before I run out of time to stream. <laughs> okay, five minutes sounds good. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Try again. Watch for the sun this time. I didn't even get to the damn fish. Yeah. Okay. Mark the vessel. Or is it still marked? No. Mark the vessel. Done. Get my suit. Great. Kiss my plants. Mwah. All going according to plan. Hourglass twins. Boom. How long do you plan on going? We do still have raid this evening. Oh, I'll be done before that. I'm hoping to stop after whatever happens here, unless it unless it goes on for a long, long time. Oh shit! Come, come here, planet. I'm gonna manual flight this one. Yeah, I mean, I can technically go for like another hour if need be. I would just rather not if I because I would enjoy dinner at some point. Around the sun. Autopilot, you can take over now. <clears throat> I should have just gone around the sun and met it. Okay, autopilot, I can't trust you anymore. You've killed me with the sun too many times. Okay, okay. Nice, easy landing. We got this. We got this. Now we just look for the towers. There they are. Plop my ship down. Here, smooth landing. Ta da. Okay, suits on. Good. Get to the tower. Perfect timing. Which one do I want to go in? Uh, yeah, the one with the cactus. Now we wait for it to pass. Go grab it again. <laughs> it's gonna go. This is it. This is the run. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. I hear sand. Yeah, it was really hard to figure out that you had to walk into it halfway. Like, it makes sense now in retrospect. But, like, figuring it out partway, I was trying to figure out how to block the sand instead. Like, this feels almost too simple of a solution. Fun fact, that little alcove was added after I first played. Oh, really? Remember having it to hide under the bridge and then run in? Oh! That's funny. They, it must have been giving a lot of players issues. Especially, it, it would make it feel like that's really not where you're supposed to go. The gimmick is that you- is that- is that the inside of the sand column doesn't lift you up. Oh! 
That's something I never tested because it crushed my bones. But I kind of wondered about that. <clears throat> like after the big twister that you can go through, that was like a thought that crossed my mind. I'm like, what else can I go into that I wouldn't normally try to? Oh, come here, join. Okay. Do I need gravity to make this work? We're gonna find out. Cool. Back. I got this. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? There's my ship. The game never tells players either. Yeah, I feel like this is the first time in the entire game where they kind of drop the ball on the hints. Like, it makes sense. New plot. Uh, of course, it's all the way on the other fucking side of the universe. I'm gonna watch for the sun this time. You like the where's the sun? Where's there's the sun? Okay, cool. We're going around the sun. Like the rest of the game, as I got clues, it pieced together what to do. I'm like, oh, now I can do this. Oh, now I can do this. Now I can do this. It's putting this together. That makes a lot of sense. This was the first one where I'm just like, I am legitimately having to pull out like my scientist brain, like to the point where I'm like, maybe I need to do it off stream because of how many attempts I'm going to have to play with. But apparently it clicked eventually. Like, your little nudge kept me from going to other planets, thank god. Once I knew I had to work with that broken tower, it was mainly just a matter of trial and error. Okay, here we go! Back to the buttholes. My least favorite part. Okay. Board autopilot. The quantum moon theory scared you? Scared or scarred? Quantum follow it. I knew the, doing the quantum moon one was a fucking blast. That was my favorite from like start to finish. Oh, but there's two. Oh, but there's two. Does this actually help? Can I also use the distress beacon? Yes, thank god. Okay. It's just like finding what's his fuck. I don't want to be near the other lights. I don't want to be near the other lights. Okay. Yeah, combining the location plus the sound. It's, I did that for um, Feldspar. Scared as in scared of you spending hours trying to teleport to it. Oh! Okay. Two of them. Oh, that was rubble. Um. This is the red one, right? No? Shit. Okay. I. Fuck. I forget which one it actually is. I think it's the red one, but I'm not 100% positive. Oh god. Because here's the emergency thing. Oh, one would be the bramble, right? So, in theory, both of those are safe. I. I know it's not saving me time repeating my old process, but I have to double check. Out of pure, unadulterated fear. Okay, okay. Oh god. Okay, yeah, that one's that. For more f scares like an anglerfish? I do not want to play Subnautica for that exact reasoning. I've watched Subnautica, and even just watching people play it scares the shit out of me. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm just gonna repeat how I did it the first time I'm, I got to the vessel. We're gonna go in, and I'm going to give myself little itty bitty spoots if needed. Okay, full speed ahead, y'all. Pray. Touched it! <laughs> Why? 
die. I barely touched my thing. I just triggered it just gently. Ugh. Uh, you made it back for maybe like the sixth try. Am I using the control stick? Um, technically that time I used my trigger because that's the one that pushes up. There's Twitch integration on Subnautica? That sounds awful. Okay, okay, okay. Try again. <gasps> Maybe I just will trust my gut and not touch anything like the first time. One of the commands on is random teleport? Fuck off! Like, if you could teleport an anglerfish to me, I just- I would just crap my pants. We don't need that on stream. That's for only fans. <laughs> I guess this is the time to hydrate. Oh god, yeah, it's four o'clock here. Okay, 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 okay. Does it rip you out of your... <laughs> Wait, does it rip you out of... Uh, out of Seema... Seema slash... What? Can teleport you to really dangerous waters. Teleports your character to a random spot in the world. That sounds awful. You could teleport me into anglerfish, and I uh, don't want that. Okay. Oh, vehicles. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sea moth is a name. I see, I see. All right, once more. Uh, mark location. Get my suit. No. Just a suit. Boom. Go to the Hourglass Twins. Okay. So am I- is it just me struggling with these anglerfish? <laughs> or is this normal? Because this is, I hate that. I hate that area. I, I'm also like in panic mode in it, so I am not controlling myself well. Okay. Around the sun so I don't burn. Align me. Oh, okay. It took you several tries to do. Okay, okay, as long as I'm not crazy. Like, for that thing. Autopilot aboard. Oh, see them? Get a nice smooth landing. Oh, smoother? Okay, go ahead. I'm just gonna trust. I'm just gonna, next time I'm just gonna trust and I'm gonna fling myself through how I did the first time. Uh, tower, tower, tower. Oh, landed a little farther than I meant. Someone else you watched took a lot of tries to do. Hey, I'm not alone. Good. <laughs> I'm sure if I played around with it, I would get it down. But, yeah. <laughs> you guys get to watch it live. Like, every time I've gone through, it looks like it sets you up to um, like float perfectly through them, except for when I put my foot on the last one. So I might just let it guide me and pray. Okay, and in. And zoop. Oh God, gravity's funky here. That's my mask. Open up the core. Drag the ball. It's ironic that I'm actually dying at the end of these. 
because I'm kind of just repeating the same day. <gasps> I am stuck in a loop. It never ended, y'all. I'm stuck. Going. No, pardon me. Touch that. Uh, cactus. Yep. Hiya. Wee. I don't know any other games of puzzle solving in a story like this and Tudic, but I have recommended Disco Elysium. Oh yeah, you've told me that one a few times. I'm definitely gonna pop it on my list. It looks fun. Hey. Also, technically, new Pokemon comes out tomorrow, which I plan on getting, but I don't know if I plan on streaming it. There really needs to be more of this hidden in plain sight sort of puzzle game. Is right. Like, I I feel like I've played games that touch on this a bit, but having back-to-back -back games now that are all about that, like, just that feeling of having a world in front of you and you're, like, solving the little baby puzzles and then realizing you're like, wait, from the beginning, I could have just bought the final boss or just solved this or that. Like, it's amazing. If any of you want to stay up until midnight to start Violet. <gasps> nice, I'm getting Violet too. Wait. Am I? Which one's which one's Pokemon Mommy? Scarlet? Violet? <laughs> Getting whatever one is Pokemon Mommy. <laughs> the only ones I can think of is Full Metal Furries, which is a fighting game where we have wrapped around it and the Hyper Light Drifter, just 2D action games around it. Ooh. I've heard of Hyper Light Drifter too. Hyper Light Drifter sounds really familiar. I might have played it, I just don't remember. Okay, sound. Hold up, hold up. Um, just press me. That one. I don't trust the other one. I don't trust these lights down there, actually. I don't want to go near them. I hate it. I don't even know if, like, the first room has anglerfish or not. Don't I want to avoid this stress? Do I want to avoid it? I thought that was telling me which one was correct. If I avoid it, does it help me skip forward? I, d I still am a little confused on how these brambles work. Since that is the one that you shot the scout through. Yeah. So then I would want to go to this, or would I want to go... Now I'm confused. Okay. Oh! Okay, I think I, I get it. I get what you guys are talking about now. I was thinking of it backwards. <sighs> okay, this is the anglerfish zone, right? This is my nightmare. It's my nightmare. Oh, our foot's gonna flip it, maybe? No? No, we're fine, we're fine. Trust the game. Trust the game, everybody. Trust the game. Don't touch that. Fuck! <laughs> I hate that! Oh, God, I hate this! Oh, that's right. I can look around without making noise. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, looking around just has little, like, poops of air. Yeah, goodbye, guys. Okay, 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 okay. There's the, there's the eggs. I want to go that way, please. Little boost. Little boost. Let I'm just gonna let it carry me. I'm going in the right direction. Gonna let it carry me. I'm gonna be this doing this the scared way. But I'm doing this. 
I hate this, everybody. I hope you know how much I hate this. <laughs> Great game, 10 out of 10. I see an anglerfish up there. Ooh, this little antenna. I know, we're getting close. We're getting close. Detecting me. This is good. I'm just gonna thunk my head. It's fine. I'm okay thunking my head. Little, little, little boost. <laughs> God damn it, Logan. How long have you been waiting on that? I don't, I don't see any. I can make a run for it. Little boost. Little boost. Little boost. Did it the first time? I don't remember. I'm too scarred by the fucking anglerfish. Okay, I don't think there's any anglerfish in here, right? I'm just gonna boost and still let it glide me though, just to be safe. Okay, okay, we've made it to the vessel. Now it's just time against me and myself, the usual. Okay, I don't see any lights. All right, all right, all right. I think I went in. Where'd I go in from last time? Find the in. I think. Oh, I think it was this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we went in here. Lights on. Okay, everybody. My oh, oh no, I ran into a body. <laughs> My question is, what order do I do stuff in? And I have to do it on all the fuel I have, but I haven't been in oxygen at least. Okay, so this. First, I'm not gonna put the core in first. I'm gonna save that for the end. This goes here, so I can put in the coordinates that I wrote down, being a smarty. So it should be, first coordinate should be this, that, oh, oh, what? Oh no, oh no, does these, does these work different than I thought? Wait, what? Middle one? But it was in an angle. But it but it was at an a but it was at an angle. Am I gonna have to do some sciencey bullshit? Oh no. Did I draw it wrong? Like the first one The first one was like an angle. Can I land on the ground a little bit please? Oh no. Because I see how to do the second one. The first one. Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. It's like this. It's like this. It's like this. That's. That's. That's the shape. That's the shape. Okay. And then. The second one is. Here. 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 Here, I believe. And then. Third one. Oh my god. If I can land. There's my ball. Third one is you, 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 you. And, oh, don't turn it. Oh my god. I hate having to do this in no gravity. It makes it so much harder. Okay. Coordinates put in. I think I did it right. Now, I don't know if I want to switch it first or second. Put that there. Not doing anything because I think that's where I need the warp. Okay, okay. Insert warp core. <gasps> we have gravity. Oh, I'm stuck in a hole. <laughs> Hi, tree. Um. Okay. Do I. Gravity's nice. I wish I kind of put that in first now. Do I stand here? What do I do? Do I pull this up now? 
Does that, does that make us go? My god. Is that the eye? I think I did it. I think that's the eye. Proby. Uh Proby, I need you to stare at it because it might be quantum. I don't think it is. But just keep an eye on it for me. Thank you. Oh, the game's so nice it filled my fuel. You guys. It's happening. Wait, the door shut. How do I... How do I get out? I'm confused. I found the eye. Hmm. Oh, you're right, the ship... Yeah, the ship's all fixed up. Uh... Did I travel in time, maybe? Um, is this new? I can't tell. Let me read it. I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone prepare to warp and... No, okay. Read that one already. Um. Yeah, the ship's in working order. I want to go out there, even though it's spooky as shit. How do I open door? No, I don't want to lift that. You? Aha! Oh, what the fuck? Will that warp me there? Oh, was one way warping the ship and one way... Is this warp me? I'm gonna touch it, you guys. I'm gonna touch... Touch it! Oh... Well, there's my scout. I'm... Now I'm here. Hey, is that the moon? Quantum moon, is that you? <gasps> Bye, quantum moon! Cool. Um... What do I do here? Yeah, the quantum moon followed me. Slander... No, slander. <laughs> Solid <laughs> <laughs> I guess the lander's here too. Oh, oh, this place is heavy. The gravity here is 2.4. And the planet's big. It dropped me off on the North Pole. Is it like the opposite of the moon? Do I want to... Tick tock, tick tock. Well, the sun, we're really far away. Is the sun even going to reach me? Oh, I'm going into this creepy part. What if there's like the king ang anglerfish up here? What if it's just waiting to eat me? It knew I was coming. Oh yeah, we're going into the deep butthole here. Ha! Huh. Scouty! Oh, my flashlight was off again. Was that a tree? Um, whoa. Um, trees just started appearing in and out. Oh my god! I don't like this anymore. It's getting crazy. I'm breaking the universe. We're pushing forward. Oh, everything's quantum. Everything is quantum. Everything is cool when I got a few trees. The butthole. I don't like the sounds it's making. Is this the core of the eye? I I found I found I found the butthole of the eye. Oh. Oh. That's a crater. Is that where the moon came from? You think the moon popped out of this? Well, if I go down there, will I be stuck? Because here's how I'm looking at it. <laughs> Do a flip. Here's how I'm looking at it. I can either try and climb one of these and see if I can get sucked up, or I can jump down there where I might potentially be stuck. 
Scouty! Scout, help me. Actually, Scout. What's up there? Mm -hmm. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, connection with Scout Boss? Neat. I can't pull him back! Oh, no! Scouty, no! <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna go up. My gut says go up. My gut may have killed me before. But you know, what could go wrong? God, it's heavy here. Maybe I can't go up. I know, rip Scouty. He was here the whole time. Okay, well, hang on. Maybe I can hear something. Oh! There's some unknown quantum fluctuation up there. I wonder if jumping in the hole will suck me up. Gotta be a way, right? Gotta be able to climb one of these. Like, I'm going to jump in. My only worry is if I get stuck there, I don't want to be well stuck there. But I don't think I can climb any of these. They don't look very climbable. All right, I'm jumping in the hole, I guess. Whee! Oh! Oh, it's got gr some gravity to it. Oh, I can't tilt my head anymore. I just want to look at the butthole. Is this a hole? I'm inside the hole of the hole. I did do a flip, you're right! Whoa. Oh! Oh! Oh, the, there's- the gravity here is normal inside this pit. Alright. Here we go, everyone. Oh uh, no! No, this is not the time to break my ankles! No. No, no, no. This is not the appropriate time for that. Not funny. Okay. I looked more directly below it. No, no, no. Don't break it. Okay. I want to go up. Oh, wait, no, no. Okay, okay, it didn't hurt my ankles. What do I do? Hello? I'm looking right into you. Hello? I, I got here, but now I'm confused again. like along this maybe oh you're right it's kind of like the sticky walls from before smart now I'm one step closer to the edge I'm about to eye <gasps> guys it's right there the universe we look and it stares back are you guys ready I'm ready Wee! <laughs> Four. Oh. Oh my God. What have I done? Oh God! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! It's gonna be gooey. Uh, the Nomai never forget to see it for themselves. They forgot to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Herthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. Yeah, I guess I fucked around and found out. Hmm. Well, Amber Hearth sure got dark. I wonder what happens if I jump out there. Is this a museum of me now? 
The radio tower on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and house some of the last ever photos taken of the entire solar system. Hornfels noticed a curious anomaly in one of the photos, but it ultimately went unexplained. I don't think that part changed. Oh, wasn't this... <laughs> Scouty! Why'd I have to throw him? He should be here, right? Wait! Did we have a baby anglerfish here? I should come back to the museum. Of all the life forms who will perish on, in the incoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish the least. <laughs> Me too. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and then exploded in a violent supernova. Sure did. Sure did. It was one of the first things I saw. I think the note's a little different, though. Or I just have better context to it. Huh. What about you? The Namai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the deadly substance we call ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Yeah, every note does seem to be different. Gotta check them all. Oh, look! Scout made it! I'm gonna say that one's mine. He's just in a museum now. He's fancy. Oh, the gravity crystal's gone. All right, I guess I'm heading upstairs. Yeah, upstairs we go. This is... This is very cool and creepy, as this game has been the entire time. Oh. Observe. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Um... I can see everything. I can see everything! It's the eye of the universe. Whoa, 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 did I just, oh no, did I destroy the universe? Uh oh, uh oh, I didn't mean to. Wait, I'm float, can I not, oh, now I'm just floating in space. Oh, apparently I'm just in there now. Uh, is this home? The, um, I found trees. Uh, why are there space trees? Is I don't remember this part when I learned about astronomy. The space trees. Hi. Scout. Uh, no frequencies. This is intense. Like galaxies are the fruits of the trees. It's super pretty. Oh, hey. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're exploding. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm breaking everything. They're all disintegrating. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'll save this one. This one looks important. Eh. You look important. Oh, oh, oh no, I, oh God, I'm sorry. Oh fuck. I'm breaking everything. Trees? Tree? Don't leave me, tree. Tree, don't leave me. I'm scared. <laughs> tree, don't leave me. You're my only friend. <gasps> this is a quantum tree. Um, am I an Asian now? <laughs> Was one reflection not enough? <laughs> yeah, call me, um, Emmett Ash. Ash Selk, I don't know. This is, this is not terrifying at all. Oh, quantum tree gone. Unidentified signal? Oh, I tried this a little earlier. 
Well, apparently, there's no oxygen now. Oh! Oh my god! I scared myself! Hey, me! Oh, I'm a tree! <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, thanks for bringing in a duck, Laren. That is now a quantum duck. Oh, the tree shrunk. What if I... Tiny tree. Little shrubble. I swear to fucking god, if one of the times I close my eyes and open them is an anglerfish, I'm going to scream and quit the game. Oh. Hey. Okay, things are looking up now. Yeah! Yeah. This is all I needed. Fuck the universe. Yeah. Oop. <laughs> Someone will eat that, don't worry. Let me make a new one. I like them toasty. Leave it over there for a friend. They'll probably stop by any time now. This is good. I'll eat this one. Alright. Got my energy back. Oh, that's my shadow. Why is my shadow so big? Because I guess there's a campfire. Fuck off. Moon dude. Hey, moon dude. Do you hear music? Not really. Um... Oh, you're still here? Oh, is this a hint? Ah. Banjo, that's... Um... Not Feldspar. Oh. Am I gonna visit all my buds? Did you build a house? Oh, banjo. There's no, but there's no door. How can I hear your banjo? Or how, how, what, huh? You, you guys forgot to build the door. Okay, I'll check above. Oop. Banjos, where's Kazooie? There more music to hear? Is there oh oh did I just jump on the non-broken side before? Or is this a quantum house? Um Is it breaking more? I can't tell. I'm just living in my memories apparently. Oh, it's definitely breaking more. The roof's gone. Banjo. Gather? Oh! Okay. This is fine. This is very fine. Oh! Hey, my bud! Yeah, this is- this is wild. Hey, Ryback. It's, um, it's not quite time yet. Time for what? I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. Yeah, for a band, right? No rush. Take your time. It might not even exist here. We're gonna put together a band. A jamboree, if you will. Aren't you forgetting someone? Uh, quite a few someones. Jesus. Ooh. Sorry. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Um, I don't want to go to that one now. I'm going to go to that one last. I don't like that. Yes, we can kill you, scary guys. I don't want to.
<laughs> Fuck you! Fuck off, game! What did I say? What did I fucking say? Protect me, guys! God fucking damn it! Right back! What did I say about the anglerfish? Uh, the quiet shade? Can I trust it? Feldspar? A cross old bark? Is this gonna be a fake out again? Is there am I, is there a puzzle I'm trying to solve? I'm so scared it's gonna be a fucking anglerfish. <gasps> oh, jellies. Jellies are fine. Jellies are okay. Excuse me, guys. Oh god. How much do you like your friends enough to hunt anglerfish? No. That's like a piano. I didn't have a friend with a piano. Drums. We had a drum friend. Do I have to remember their instruments? Hey, Feldspar. Oh, Feldspar, you're tiny. Hatchling, you found me. Nice to have company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on. Go get the others. Wouldn't want to miss out. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't... Maybe we do and I don't remember. Am I the piano? Um, oh. Oh, is it because he... Oh, it's way out there. Are those all... Potential supernovas? I'm, I guess I'm going that way. I guess I'm not going that way. Um, oh, maybe I am? Fuck. <gasps> oh. What the fuck? I walked forward and it turned me around. So yeah, Chert freaks out more and more as you talk to him, as he notices the stars going out. Yeah, and if you talk to him as um, your son is going out, he starts to change stuff and eventually freaks out and says, he's just like, like, at first he's just like, Whatever it is, keep it quick. We don't have much time. But at the end, he's just like, what's the point? Quit talking to me or something like that. Like, he hits a point where he just gives up. Um, can I... What if I zoom in? <gasps> I had to use the telescope! Okay, that part's really fucking cool. Did I ever talk to him about the ship's logs? I don't recall i might have and just don't remember okay there's a piano and a humming i don't remember all my friends hey church the stars were beautiful weren't they even if our star is what ultimately killed us i'll wait here and remember them while you gather everybody sounds good I guess I'll follow this noise. Oh. It's the signs? In an ancient blade. It's always dark. Where is it? Oh, it's a clarinet. Okay, cool. Who was that? I don't remember the clarinet. Oh, was that Garbo? It was you! Hey, time pals. So you're getting the band back together, huh? I am! Go on, find the others. I'll be here. You don't need me yet. 
but you will. Well, yeah, for a band. It's a like Garbo. Your helmet is extreme. This is... This is insane. Oh, god damn it, it's this thing. If those move, I'm gonna... I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Look, they're all flipping off something. Oh. Something is very far away. Oh, hi! It's, it's very... It's a very pretty music. Oh! <laughs> oh, look at... Look at they're stacking! You guys can do it! Reach the star! Just don't attack me, please. Do I need to turn around this way? There you go. Quantum skellies. Oh, oh. That's not what I expected. Okay. Okay. Five generations of Nomai. Oh. Oh, wait. I learned how to fly this thing at one point. Kind of. Whee! Is Solanim going to be the piano player? We getting closer. This is trippy. It's so cool. Like this is ridiculous. Oh. <gasps> hey. Is that for Solanum? I hope it's for Solanum. Hey guys. <gasps> My friend. Solanum! It's the boy! Or girl? Actually, I think we found out it was a girl. Either way, I don't remember. It's a person. It's a thing. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Me too. Yeah, it did confirm a she pronoun at some point, I think. Even better. Is it time to find out? Yeah. Wait. The song is new to me, but I'm honored to be a part of it. Oh, he's playing. She's playing. Oh, do we get to hear them all in harmony? Yeah, first thing I have to do. Honorary roasted marshmallow. Uh, extinguish that. Here, for you, Rybar. Take it. That one's yours. No? Alright, fine. I guess, guess they're not hungry. They all want to play. What do you say, time buddy? Ready to start the music? Yes. Yeah, this should be cool. Oh, they're all going to come together. The Feldspar, you want to throw us some harmonica? What do you say then? Should I get out the old harmonica? Yeah. Haha, here goes nothing. Eskar, do you play something? I can't uh, wait to play with the whole gang uh, group again. Can I start? Yeah. Okay, I won't let you down. Oh yeah, he whistles. How about, chirp, how about a little drum? Shall I begin? Yes. Well then, here I go. Wait, is this the intro music? Did I begin? Yes. You got it. I'll do my best. Aww. This is so nice. This is really cool. Here you go, Solomon. One for you. At the end of the universe with all my friends. <gasps> What's wrong? What's wrong, guys? Fuck me! Guys? Guys? What is this? Is it a quantum thing? Do I go in it? Did it want a marshmallow? It, I think it wanted a marshmallow. I'm gonna touch it. 
Uh, I'm back. Oh, fuck me. I blew up everything. Oh, I can look around. Um, I may have blown up existence. I'm sorry. The one thing I told you not to do. I'm sorry! I didn't mean to. Oh, a new universe is born. I like that. I made a big bang. It's Gren Logan. This is fine. <gasps> big bang! Oh, Outer Wilds! I did it! I did it! That was so good. That ending was so amazing. Except for the anglerfish. Fuck the anglerfish. Everything else was amazing. Oh god. This was good. This is a good fucking game. I'm gonna take in the music for a second. Take it all in awe. <sighs> the least missed creature of all. The small Easter egg yet to come. Ooh, like like an update? Because I have DLC. Yeah. Um, I don't know about tomorrow. I might switch it up tomorrow, but next time I play this game, I am going to explore the DLC. This is great. I Oh my god, I streamed almost five hours today to get here. You're all amazing for hanging out with me on this adventure. I hope it was fun to watch, because it was so fun to play through. Like, the only thing I needed a little nudge on in the entire game was um, the the twin project. Besides that, it just it spelled itself out so beautifully. Like, all the clues lined up where it was like every time I knew there I didn't have an answer I knew if I explored I'd get one and it was so great needed two more deaths to make it nicer well this one counts as a death right <laughs> I'll just go do a backflip real quick we'll end on it <laughs> oh yeah this was it is not even done because we got DLC I I can only imagine the DLC will be this amazing, but I really hope though. It's like, ah, oh, everything came together so well at that end. And I have so many questions that honestly don't need to be answered. Like, was that a big bang? Did I reset the universe because I looked at the eye? Did, did, like, did I get a magic wish? Did I become the universe myself? Like, I, there's so many questions. But honestly, it doesn't need to be answered. Like, I feel like the game's more magical that way. I became the DM? <gasps> Guess we're gonna play Dungeons and Dragons next. <laughs> um, they're rhetorical until I finish the DLC in case that adds in some to it. Once I've done everything in the game, then I'm gonna be a nosy little scientist. <laughs> I do wanna play more D&D, Claren. I actually want to do um, a small session on stream sometime with a couple of people, and I was going to reach out to you. Yeah, I love D&D. &D. <laughs> the music's so good. Uh, yeah, Taylor, I want those answered, but with the DLC, I'm going to chill just in case that gives me a little bit of light into it. But after the DLC's done, and I've gotten all the endings, which I maybe have, the... I want to know fucking everything. I'm a scientist, baby. Give it to me. <laughs> yeah, I want to do that one campaign I told you about, Claren. But I, I want it to be with people that don't know except for you. I think it'd be really fun. What if I'll release DMCA free music from their games? Oh, that's really cool! I know, we didn't get to the funny death counter, but there is DLC. Or I could go do a backflip, but I feel like forcing it doesn't, isn't the same. Because who knows, in the DLC, maybe uh, we'll get a crazy mutant space anglerfish that will eat me and will be really funny and I will cry. Who knows? Oh, 
I'm just gonna let the credits run out. And then I'm starving. And I have to raid later, too. Ooh, speaking of raid, I wonder if anybody's on. Making the last step the same as the first one would be great. Oh, that's very true. For the yeah. When I so when I booted it up, Logan, um, it had a warning where it's just like there are setting options to turn down some of the scary things in the DLC section. And when I read that, I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? I don't like that. <laughs> is there fall damage? There certainly is. Well, know what? This one did count as a death. So why don't you add on a death counter? That means when we start the DLC, we get to start off just as I ended before, getting a nice rounded number, and I'll do a backflip off the trees. <laughs> yep, I gotta start the DLC, but I've been going for like five hours and I'm super, super hungry. <gasps> oh, hold up, hold up everyone, wait! 14.3 billion years later! Bug people? <gasps> Scouty! He lives! <laughs> My Scouty lives! <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful place to stop. Those were also bug people. So I guess... Is it that I made a new universe and it's another type... It's like another timber hearth? And now it's some bug people hanging out, eating marshmallows around the campfire. It's all coming rounded. Because that's a really, really cute way to end it. But even better, that Scouty's alive. Sent him out there. Ah, oh, God, this is good. Because he lost it on the eye, it lives on for 14.3 billion years later. <laughs> I think this guy specifically happens if you lose a scout in the eye. Oh, did I just happen to get the Easter egg of shooting it into the eye? Oh, that's hilarious if I did. That was, that's just my fucking ADHD brain getting an Easter egg there. <laughs> and then that couldn't happen because of the loop that happened nine million times. Yeah. I, I guess it's almost like a metaphor of like, I finally let the universe rest. Like, finally put it out of its like loophole misery it's been stuck in. Yeah, you need to shoot into the eye. That's so funny that I happen to do that. I love it. Just like a scientist stumbling onto discoveries. That's me, baby. In fact, I might be going back to work as a scientist, sadly. I don't want to. I just want to stream and rig VTubers and shit. <laughs> but the rent's expensive. <sighs> That's so nice. Hey, no, I'm going back here. I want to leave it off on the game music. This is such nice music. I'm not going back to my other screen, although it will stop for a second. <gasps> Thank you. I'm, this was this was amazing. This was so fun. Let me see if any of my friends are on that I can raid out to, because I need to stop and go scarf down a shitload of food. But thank you everyone for hanging out on this. It was so